the Glass Cannon Network. Hello everyone, welcome to Voyagers of the Jump. My name is Matthew Capacaza and I'll be your host, or should I say, referee? <laughs> Already throwing the <laughs> terms around. <laughs> Stop, you're gonna confuse people. They, they don't know what's going on yet. Well, maybe I should explain because I'm is sure- Is this a hockey match they're saying? <laughs> no, no it's not. Well, please, I'm I'll, sorry, continue. I'll explain, I'll explain, because I'm sure there are, you know, a lot of you are clamoring out there to know exactly what Voyagers of the Jump is, and like countless people are just knocking down doors and pounding the pavement. I'm sure all of you have had to turn down, you know, multiple media requests ever since it's got announced, and I've I'm sorry to, about that. Several doors replaced. I've had to buy many <laughs> doors. Yeah, you owe me for the many, many doors that I've had to reinstall. Keep your receipts, Sid. Sid, <laughs> you can oh, I am. submit those to Matthew. I'll be submitting those later tonight. Thank you. From Home Depot. <laughs> I, thought I, I thought I was done with that, but all right, here we are. <laughs> um, well, <laughs> it's not a hockey game. It is not a Home Depot trip. It, Voyagers, of the Jump, Voyagers of the Jump is a brand new show under the auspices of the Glass Cannon Network, in which we'll be using the Traveler RPG to play through an original sci-fi adventure Yay. Yay. <laughs> yeah so Yay. traveler thank you thank you for that enthusiasm i appreciate it um well as you all know uh, and many of you out there also know uh, traveler is an old school classic rpg first published by game designers workshop in 1977 uh in recent years mongoose has put out a reboot and that is what we'll be playing on this show we'll be using the brand new 2022 update to the core rulebook for those of you following along at home. Uh, but before we get too far into that, we should probably introduce ourselves. And we are very, very lucky to have assembled this group of fantastic cast members. So let's get to know everyone just a little bit. So like, for instance, Sydney Emanuel, who are you and why are you here? Uh, well, you just told everybody who I am, so <laughs> that's my name, what Matthew did I, said. Did I tell, really encapsulate who you are? Who the hell are you? Uh, I think so. <laughs> who I are think, you? I think you know me well enough, Matthew. Uh, no, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm, I'm Sydney Emanuel. Maybe if uh, you have watched other shows on the Glass Cannon, which I assume that you have if you're watching this show, but maybe not. Um, I am on a few other shows on the Glass Cannon. I was in Androids and Aliens. I'm currently in Delta Green. Uh, I played Traveler with Alicia and Matthew and Skid on New Game Who Dis. Um, so I feel really excited to now be playing it as like a full game and not just a one-off. Um, but yeah, I play tabletops. And when I'm not playing tabletops, I am a production designer for film and TV and an actor as well. And a, mu a musician. And a musician, and a musician, which we cannot stop bringing up on the network. And I, I really <laughs> appreciate you guys because I forget. And then uh, no, everyone's been really kind about that because Skid recently uh, was tweeting stuff out about my music and my album, A People Person. Aww. So thank you. Thank you, Skid. Yeah, it's, it's really great. good. It's really, really good. That's give her those Spotify listens. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give me that Spotify money. Those, those pennies. nickels to start rolling <laughs> in. Hot Spotify cash. Our rotations. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for being here, Sid. It's great to play with you, as always, but especially with this game. Um, <laughs> which brings me to Alicia Marie. It's so <gasps> great to have you here. Thank I'm you. so excited to be back. Um, it's been a while. I Like uh, Sid was saying, I was in the original travel series and had to jump out for a family thing. I don't want to talk about it because it'll change my mood. Um, but I love this game. I love this this crew. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm really excited about my hyper 80s hair today. It worked <laughs> out. So we're already at, uh, I'm off to a good start. Oh, oh that's so me. good. <laughs> a round of you applause could be on Buck Rogers. You could spray. be like, you could be uh, a clip from Buck Rogers right now. You look amazing. Really? Hell yeah. Huh. I, I love it. I love 80s hair. I, I, it's wonderful. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. It's like I think I'm gonna have to lean into that a little bit more. 
Anyway, I'm a professional costume artist and designer and obviously an <laughs> improv performing artist. And I've done a lot of stuff with Glass Cannon, although I might not be recognizable because I'm usually in costume for the games I play. But because of this game, we have no idea what we're playing yet. So I'm um, just me. Yeah. Um, it's, <laughs> it's really weird looking at myself as myself on camera, but I feel so professional with my new setup. So I won't be here with my amateur that I usually have here. So hopefully you can hear me better and see me better. And we can play Matt's original story and hopefully not die or be severely maimed in character creation. Yes. Um, as I recall, you were severely maimed in character creation last time. I was. <laughs> I was severely. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to put that energy and juju in my new character in games. So let's just leave that in the past where it belongs. Sorry. It was so sorry. good, though. Alicia, it was so good. It was like beyond good. What? Do you remember? Do you remember you got like, you lost an eye on a tilt a whirl at a That's carnival right. and you were an undercover cop? It was a carnival cop. She was an undercover carnival cop. I can't remember how he came to that. <laughs> Getting the carnival crime. <laughs> yeah, it's covering. <laughs> I lost an eye. Okay, please don't let that happen to me here because I don't feel like wearing an eye patch for my costume. Yeah. I, I feel like that was only like the first term. I feel like there were yeah, other injuries. Pretty, pretty quickly. It was my first yeah. term. I lost everything. I lost my career, my trailer. <laughs> I lost my... <laughs> Your respect among the carny community. <laughs> <laughs> precious, precious carny clout. <laughs> you can't sit on the a carnival better. anywhere. Can't get that back. <laughs> well, I'm very excited to see what you have uh, in store for us tonight. <laughs> um, so thank you for being here. Um, and then that brings us to Mr. Seth Skorkowski. Thank you. Uh, we we're so, we're so, we're, I'm, a, I'm a little nervous actually that you're here. I was saying, <laughs> sk so, I'll let you introduce yourself, but I just want to say, like, when we played that that new game, Hootis, uh Traveler module, I picked it based on your YouTube review of it. And I said, oh, that's the one for us. And then, so now I'm, I, I discovered that you actually are deeply in the Traveler world, uh, and I'm terrified because I am afraid I'm going to get lots of things wrong. Ah, don't worry. Uh, I'm Seth Gorkowski. I am a fantasy and horror author and YouTuber for tabletop role-playing games. Uh, a lot of games, including Traveler. Uh, I have, I've written for Mongoose Traveler uh, for a couple of adventures, either new ones or updating classic ones to the new edition. And uh, I'm also a podcaster, and this will be my first time joining Glass Cannon as like for an actual long term versus our, our little one shot we did of Call of Cthulhu. And as much Traveler as I've played, we've done a couple campaigns with our group and all this. I, I, I have my big Traveler ship behind me. Oh, I've uh, got the scout ship behind. Oh, that's I, awesome. I've, <laughs> I've never actually played Traveler. I've been a forever GM of Traveler. So this will actually be my first time to play. So I've, I've made tons of example characters, but I've never made one that was for me. Uh, so <laughs> this will be so exciting. Oh, I'm awesome. like pumped. That's great. I'm even more terrified now. <laughs> Thank you for that. You're going to be my first, Matthew. Make it special. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe your last. Uh, <laughs> well, thank you. We're, we're so happy you're here. And that brings us to last, but certainly not least, Skidmar, everybody. Hello. <laughs> Woo! Hello, I'm Skidmar. I'm, I'm in the glass cannon. I am so excited to do this. I started playing Traveler in, I think, like 1982 two or something uh i fell in love with the setting so much like it's i still like i i mentioned on the last show like i dream and traveler it's like <laughs> when i when i have like uh sci-fi <laughs> fantasies which i do often they're set in the traveler uh universe i'm wearing my uh my my ripley uh overalls today oh, um, yes. uh, very, uh, and i'm super excited as i knock my audio <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I'm super She's excited. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm super excited uh, to be playing with Seth because I've I've been a fan of his for a while. His his videos are are great. I I, I was telling him I watched a bunch of them today uh, in preparation for this, uh, and uh, I can't wait to actually like uh, play like a game with him. 
and incredibly excited to play something that you've written. I've been like racking my brain for weeks, wondering what it is, what it's going to be. And I, you're such, I, I'm a huge fan of Matthew's writing and I just, I, I can't wait to see what you have in store for us. No pressure. No pressure at all. <laughs> Actually, it's been hard because yeah, Sk Skid and I have been rooming at a bunch of shows on the road and I, I've been, I've been working on it and I, all I want to do is run ideas by Skid, but of course I, I can't do that. So <laughs> It's untested. It has. It does not yet have the Skidmar stamp of approval. So we'll have to. We'll see what happens. We'll see. If there are <laughs> any shortcomings, the that's why. <laughs> the no, I'm pretty good with the, the chair room. I only use. I only use the one. I think we're pretty good roommates. I think we're pretty good roommates. I think. Yeah, we just sit around and watch Star Trek. That's basically all we did. <laughs> that is. That is true. You guys did that when I was on tour too, and you were like, yeah, "This is all we, we do." That's so you do it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, but now we have it. Star Trek Strange New Worlds to watch yes. because new episodes yes. dropped. We uh, okay, okay. Yep. Yes. Yep. Um we can we can fan out about that another time. Yeah. And we will, I'm sure we will throughout oh, the yeah. course of this 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 show. Um well why don't we talk a little about Traveler for those who are unfamiliar? Uh, we'll just do a little quick crash course on the game and the setting. Um, so Traveler describes itself as science fiction adventure in the far future. And this is kind of the far, far future. And by now, humans have scattered across the galaxy, or at least what's known as charted space. And uh, the galaxy is way, way larger than that. But humans, like weeds on the wind, have managed to find their way to a pretty wide area of it. Uh, though that's actually a bit complicated. And I think we'll probably talk about that at some point. Um, so the important thing to know about this world is that you can travel through space using faster than light jump drives, which is hence the title that get it because we're voyagers of the jump. Oh, and now I get it. Yeah, it's, it's now I understand <laughs> why, I, why I wrote that. I am famously title. bad at titles. So I apologize. We spent um, half a day just bouncing titles back and forth. With each it's other. true. It's true. Skid, uh, Skid helped uh, immeasurably. Um, anyway, yes. So you can travel faster than light, but there's no subspace radio or hyperwave or anything like that. So communications across, across vast distances are, are limited, uh, which has a number of drawbacks, but the advantage to all of you people, uh, if you wanted to play someone who might be a, a rogue or a rapscallion or a criminal on the lamb, maybe you could escape your past, uh, even in the far future, which is super fun. Uh, but yeah, so in this civilization, commerce is going to be the major driving force, but you can, and this is probably my favorite thing about this is you can kind of tailor your game or so I'm led to believe, uh, to the kind of sci-fi you enjoy. If that's Star Trekish or expansy or Wayfarer or Tarian or whatever it is you're into, uh, there's definitely a great world here, but you can adapt to the kind of story you want to tell within that. Uh, so I guess, uh, yes, this story has been written by me specifically for these Yay. players. Um, so I guess we'll kind of see what kind of sci-fi we're all up, we're into um, <laughs> by the end of this. Uh, but yeah, just real quick, I wanted to turn it over to the those who know a lot more than me, Seth and Skid, to just kind of give us a little bit of uh, info on the world um, and the kind of in environment and things we might be interacting with. Um, so Skid, could you give us a, like a quick description primer of on um, the, the Imperium? Uh, I don't think I can give you a quick description of the Imperium, but I'll do my best. Uh, the Imperium as it stands, uh, I think in the current timeline of second edition, it, I think it's like 1105, like 1105 years after the year zero founding of the third Imperium, which uh, followed on the heels of the second Imperium, which was sort of loosely governed by humanity, uh, which itself followed the conquered the first Imperium, which had been established several thousand years before uh, man even took to the stars. And yeah, so it is a it's a feudal empire. It's very much inspired by uh, by Foundation, uh, by As Asimov's Foundation series, as well as Dune. Like there's a lot of Dune in it. It, it, because of the distances and the lack of ability to communicate quickly, it's a feudal society. So regional governors and nobility have a lot of autonomy over their provinces, the uh, planets and sectors and subsectors. The there the the universe the the, the um, Imperium is surrounded by foes, uh, potential foes, some actual foes and some potential foes, and the entirety of traveler universe takes place within charted space 
which mm-hmm. comprises probably like 30,000 stars, star systems. And it's awesome. It's such a cool setting. I could talk for literally hours about it, but I'll stop. That uh, that was great. Thank Thanks. you, Skid. <laughs> Good job, uh, Skid. Like the time. Good job. Ah, Skid. Okay. Uh, cool. Seth, I sprung this on you like literally right before we started going here, but would you give us a quick primer on the, the Spinward Marches? Okay. Uh, Spinward Marches is, uh, the Traveler setting has actually always been one of the biggest uh, setting points. Um, it is Spinward, so when the galaxy spins, it's the direction that, it, that it's going. So it's actually the furthest edge. Um, it is at the frontier of uh, Imperial space. And it butts up against um, another race of human humans, humanity, uh, called the well, it's spelled Zodani. I've heard it's pronounced Jodani, like with a J, uh, because long, long, long ago the ancients actually seeded many worlds with humans, and they all evolved very differently. And the Jodani are psionic, which is horribly illegal inside the Imperium. Uh, so it's kind of like Star Wars that says like you're force sensitive you're out uh, meanwhile these guys are all like very psionic uh, it is also right near the Varger extents which is when the ancients for some reason grabbed a bunch of dogs and said you know what would be cool let's <laughs> let's mix them with some human DNA and just see what happens in a few million years <laughs> and so they have now conquered their own region of space with their kind of uh, canine Society, and then there is other little, smaller empires, like tiny compared to the Imperium and the Jodani, like Sword Worlds and all that. There, so the, Dar- the Darian uh, Confederation. So this is also where there have been the frontier wars. Uh, there is also a lot of espionage, spy stuff going on because you've got a lot of different empires, all kind of coming together at one spot. So there is a lot of tensions and, and and fun things. Plus, it's on the it's on the wild edge of space so there's still tons of new stuff to explore so that's uh that's the spinward marches yeah uh that was excellent and as you can see it's i don't know why that might be relevant to our story but it's good to know <laughs> good to know <laughs> thank you so um and also you covered the third topic i want to talk about which a little bit was like how did all these humans get here and yes you they, they, it's, it's thanks we can thank the ancients for that uh but i'm sure we'll talk about that more i think um, there's like they say in the I, if I'm remembering right, they say in the book that so far they found like 50 different worlds or something that were seeded with humans in charted space, something like that. Like it's it's a lot. Yeah. Three of them, three of those species uh, discovered jump technology on their own, making them major races in the parlance of, uh, of the civilization. And then the others uh, were found before they had a chance to develop on their own and are thus classified as minor species. Great. Nerd. Nerd. <laughs> <laughs> I need the drop. I need the nerd. We're trying to be all serious. It's not going to last. Yeah. <laughs> the um, ruling, let me ask you a question really quick. The ruling yeah. class, the, no, the nobles, the ruling class, are they, they're not humans or there, is it a council of mixed? Not that it matters. I'm just being nosy. The Imperium is hu- is human centric, yeah. but, but there it's are. It's human. There are several alien species that live in that, that live and trade and work on Imperium worlds. The Varger being one of them, the Aslan being another, mm-hmm. um, and yeah, those are the big okay. ones. Yeah, mm-hmm. also There's the only also, playable ones. That's right. Mm-hmm. There are also yeah. the Hivers and the Drones. Hivers, I love. They're I love so Hivers weird. too. They're weird. <laughs> They're weird, but they love everybody, man. Let's all like hang out together. They occasionally yeah. drop like a baby, and they're like, "Oh, somebody step on that before it goes up." Yeah, they're weird. <laughs> yeah, they're so weird. They're tentacled, and they they're they're tentacled and really xenophilic. Oh, and uh, and the Kakri, which we talked about uh, last time, the super violent uh, vegans. Uh, right. <laughs> Wait, are they really? Yeah, th- because oh, they're yeah. they're evolved from like a, a herbivore herd species like on their home planet so okay. they developed intelligence and they have like you know thumbs and everything and so they despise anyone that eats meat and if they smell it on your breath they'll just kill you it's it's awesome wait which ones are those i'm looking at i'm looking it up right now they're not i don't think they're <laughs> actually i don't i don't think they're actually technically represented in second edition at least not yet they, are they were in they aliens are in okay. shredded space volume one oh, wow. whole awesome. section on 
Cree careers and Cree ships because you have to have big ships because they're f- big four legged things. They're bigger things. Oh, so. yeah. oh, I see the Cree. The, oh, the Cree. 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 You want to say Cree, but you just kind of stuttered. Yeah. yeah. You get scared. <laughs> Cree. You get a little scared. Yeah, yeah. I'd be scared. <laughs> I, I made a hamburger earlier. It's a c- 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 Cree. No. <laughs> um, oh, they look like okay. dinosaurs. What the hell? I love these guys. Yeah, I hope awesome. we encounter them. Matthew, write them in right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Put some cookery in there. Thank you. Um, well, okay. should we get should we get down to the main event of tonight? Yes. 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 Dun, dun, so dun. tonight on our first episode, as many of you have been talking about, you know, we'll be engaging in a little bit of traveler character creation. Um, <sighs> I don't know about you guys, but this, I think of all the RPGs we got to try out in the, during our pandemic uh, RPG renaissance, this is probably my favorite character creation system we got to try. Yeah, Um, by far. This, it's tied because one, I just love literally rolling up characters. Like the most fun (laughs) you can do is be given a hefty book full of charts and it's like, how about ye? So this and uh, freaking Morkborg are like two of the most fun because mm-hmm. anything can happen in character creation. You can die, yeah. you can like get mortally wounded. It's just so good, I love it. Actually, mm-hmm. I thought Star Trek was also really strong. I, th- I thought Trek we had a great time strong. rolling oh, that's right. Star Trek that's right. characters. Similar, a lot, very similar that you're kind of like building out your life as you go through the character creation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. totally. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean like that's the thing, like uh, for those of you who've never played or never watched us play this, or uh, is famously you can die during this, tra- this character <laughs> creation um, or become horribly injured or uh, you know. <laughs> Lose Wait. an eye at a, at a street fair. <laughs> was this, lose, lose an, an eye. eye while working as an undercover cop at a carnival. <laughs> Wait, so, <laughs> Wait, Skid, brought, any, an, really, <laughs> any of you, have you ever died during character creation, during Traveler? Oh, yeah. In, in, the in old days, Mongoose, yeah. it's only optional. It's not It's not actually part of Mongoose 2nd Edition unless you do, I guess, what they call their Iron Man version. <laughs> Because there were enough old schoolers that are like, what's this wussy you can't die? And they're like, okay, well, you want to go Iron Man? It's just like normal, but we added death. <laughs> Again. <laughs> <laughs> You, you've died. You've died, Skid, in the old in the old days. Oh yeah, yeah. Because we used to do we used to roll up characters all the time, and yeah, they they would die like with uh, alarming frequency. <laughs> During the creation what? process. Yeah, like one out of every like three or four characters would die like during but, creation. But oh they then gosh. become the backstory to your character who survives like, my brother died after his tour in the Navy and I need to find out what happened. So like yeah. it just kind of builds in. Like, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I can just play it up. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah, I was late to the meeting because I died and now I'm back. <laughs> stuff like that. <laughs> That's right. Like, you come back, you know, you're gone. <laughs> <laughs> if I had to stop to get coffee, you know, I would have been You do the too. beer fest thing where it's like literally your same character and you're like, that's yeah. my twin brother. <laughs> and, he's, and he's been keeping uh, keeping me uh, informed of what all you guys have been doing the whole time. You're all and my best And if it makes you a little more comfortable, you know, if you want to refer to me by his name, I can totally <laughs> cool with that. <laughs> I love that moment. Oh, it's so good. And we have the same, he like changes his accent. He has a Southern accent. He's like, I could talk like him too. Like, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Well, uh, that's what I'm going to do if I die. Okay. 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 I'm sure you'll be fine. I'm sure everyone will be fine. <laughs> It'll be fine. That's um, why I brought 20 like D6. Because if any one of them starts acting up, it's garbage. Gone. Great. Throw it away forever. <laughs> out, out into the void. Um, yeah, so Traveler is a D6 system. Thank you for that transition, that segue, Alicia. Um, there's no levels, there's no classes, there's no XP, there's no magic. Uh, gameplay is going to revolve entirely around skill checks. Uh, and so for every check, you'll roll 2D6, plus your skill, plus your any, your characteristics, strength, dex, etc., and any modifiers. Uh, getting an 8 or over is considered an 8 is an average task. Um, and you don't really level up per se, you just earn skill ranks and character improvements through character creation, training, augmentation, that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, I mean the basic premise is you're going to roll for your characteristics and then from there you start to form your idea of your character's early life and the kind of childhood they had and then you start the creation in earnest when they turn 18 and then you're going to roll uh, on a series of tables to see what happens in four year terms. You can go to college, you can enter the military, start your career. Uh, but what happens inside those terms is up to the dice. Uh, you're gonna, again, the, the, I feel like the thing I learned most about Traveler when we did this last time is you could say, uh, you ask a question, you're like, oh, there's a table for that. 
and it will tell you some fun stuff. Um, I think the thing I really love about this system, though, I don't know, you guys tell me if you agree or disagree, but it's the kind of emergent storytelling that happens. You, know, you, you roll, oh, yeah. you have this idea of what you want to do, and then all of a sudden things change, and then you have to kind of adapt, and all you 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 you, you spend three terms as a prisoner, and then you get out. And it's a, you know. <laughs> yeah. That's my favorite kind of storytelling is emergent storytelling. I love games that do it well, and this game does it really well. Um, well, why don't we do it? Let's let's dive in. So why right. why don't you guys start rolling for your characteristics, and I'll talk a little bit while that happens. So we're going to do the alternate rule. Uh, so skid, it's you. So you roll for your six characteristics. Um, four of those characters you'll roll two d six and. For the two of them, you'll roll three d six and take the highest. Exactly, uh, highest two. Yeah, and then that's you can what, assign that is them. an official al alternate rule, and uh, it's what we did last time. So. Great. And uh, a question: It doesn't matter. You roll, and you get to choose where you place it. There's yeah. no order. Yes. Okay, cool. Okay. Um, so while you're doing that, I'll talk a little bit about what these characteristics are. Um, so strength is going to be your physical strength, your fitness, your forcefulness. Uh, dexterity is your coordination and agility, your reflexes. These are pretty familiar. Endurance is going to be your stamina and your determination. And importantly, your ability to sustain damage. There's no HP. It's actually just your endurance score. Um, intellect is your uh, kind of natural intelligence and quickness of mind. Whereas education is going to be a measure of your learning and experience. And then social standing is your place in society. Um, yeah, so do I need to vamp more or do you feel like everyone, everyone have roles? I have, I'm hearing reactions yeah. that sound, uh, alarming. <laughs> I'm good. Okay. All right. Yeah. Sydney, we can do, place them anywhere we want, right? Anywhere you want. Yeah. God, Sydney, I don't do you know. want to start? Yeah. Okay. So I rolled and I just wrote them in order as I rolled. So I might move them, but currently it's a six in strength a 10 in dexterity, a seven in endurance, a five in intellect, an 11 in education, and a five in social. So I really have kind of like a middle ground and some spikes, but ah, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, so the the to put that in context, six through eight would make your, your dice modifier plus zero. Um, anything above uh, nine through 11 will be, will be a plus one. Uh, three through five is gonna be a minus one. Oh rough okay so i have two that would have a minus one modifier yeah. now you can improve those like in character creation you know you can there are ways to to, to build those up but remind, remind me again endurance in traveler is it's going to be your it actually ends up being like your hp like that's how much damage you can take is your endurance so it actually is it's not it, you can't really dump it um you'll notice also if you skip ahead to that career summary table it for a bunch of careers it ends up it is your survival role um I, that's a, one thing I really appreciate about the system too is like pretty much all of the characteristics are relevant depending on what you want to do. Um, mm -hmm. It's you know. I, uh, all right, well, we'll let you ponder that. Yeah, let me ponder for okay. a second. And Alicia, how do you do? Ponder. Okay. Um, this is the, but what's problematic is because I don't. I actually left it up because I'm not really a hundred percent sure like who I want to play yet. So I was gonna let it see like where things fell, even though I have ideas floating in my head. So I'm kind of scared to pick a low strength because I'm so used to like being such a martial type character. Sure. I'm afraid that I'll default to that, and then if I have a low strength, I'll end up like dying like the first time we get in any sort of <laughs> scuffle. So this is what I have right now, but I think I might move something around. I have seven in strength, a 10 in dex, an eight in endurance, an eight in intellect, an 11 in education, and a 10 in social. Ooh. I think you did pretty well. Yeah. I think so, really good. yeah. I'll Dude, keep you might be a dice. minor noble. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 11, 11. a 10 is a minor noble? Oh, maybe I'll switch that around then. I don't need to be a noble. Let's see, like, I can get, there's a table for I, that. You know what, I'll switch it around. <laughs> right. That's, That's gonna, gonna be the think... saying of, of the night. There's yeah. a table for that. There's eleven, for that. eleven, yeah. uh, and eleven would be a knight in this world, or what? or someone of equivalent <laughs> fame. A knight. <laughs> Imagine me a knight. A right. space knight. You could also do it like you can also be the child of someone of that you know, of of you know equivalent aristocratic rank, or 
uh, or Grant when we played uh, in our new game who just <laughs> cheated a little bit uh, with his social standing and ended up being the most famous news anchor <laughs> yeah. Yeah. in Charmin <laughs> Space. He had seven he had names. Songs. <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> Impossible. It also, it also sort of doubles as your charisma score, so yeah. it, you, yeah. can, you can think of it that way too if you want it to be high. So. That's it, like, mm. you'll find in the... The, you know some yeah. some skill yeah. checks will be obvious what characteristic you're going to be using, but sometimes it's not so clear, and you can kind of make a case for, well, I, I want to use my social standing to to, add, oh. to be a modifier, you know, for this role instead of my intellect for you know, and you can make or make a case for why. Oh, um, that's a it's good an, idea. It's, it's an adaptive system. It's a good. Okay. All right, Seth, how did you do? Okay, well, my goal is I'm probably going to be going into, I hope to qualify for uh, naval engineering. So I actually wow. put my stats towards where survival and all that will go for that. So five strength, eight dex, nine endurance, 10 intellect, nine education, six social. Okay. So yeah, you pump you pumped your intellect and your education, and then if you're going to go that route, you'll probably end up pumping your education more just by virtue of going to college. So that was it's um, as if you've done this before, Seth. I <laughs> intend on going to school, <laughs> but Flexing who knows on what us the dice will have to say about that? So that's why I'm like, I plan to go in the navy, but I could be a hobo. <laughs> 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 I, could, I could be the carny that steals eyes. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. we'll have to find oh, out. Wow. <laughs> All right, yeah. Skid, how'd it go? Yeah. Uh, pretty, pretty okay. I also am looking forward to another naval career. Oh. Uh, I hope to uh, get the officer's track, though. I'm going to the JROTC uh, if I get into Ohio State again. So I got uh, uh, four in strength, five dex, six endurance, 11 intellects. 11 education and nine social. Okay. Wow. So pumping the mental stats. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think you get like, don't you like, is it a nine that you pretty much get to be an officer? Like got almost automatically okay. or is it? Oh, yeah. yeah. I just, no, I was just yeah. reading this. Nine, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it? Or you need a nine. Hold I on. I don't or remember, added. but it's, it's up there. It's nine or 10. Yeah. It's yeah. Uh, if you, if you, so if you go to a military academy, yeah, you get a you definitely you get a dice modifier plus one if your social is eight or higher, um, and if you graduate with honors, that helps too. That's another plus one. Yeah, oh, yeah. we'll get down to this. I have notes. I have notes for all of it. Okay, we'll hope that. Well, I hope they're accurate. Um, if you give yourself a social ten, man. You get to be a knight, and we maybe we all have to address you as like, oh yeah, sir, sir, good sir, knight, <laughs> something. You yeah. get to walk around like, do you know who I am? <laughs> <laughs> I just watched an amazing video about, I'll we'll talk about it later, uh, about someone who tried to use that in the airport and it backfired horribly. Um, oh, okay. yes, I know what you're talking about. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, let's talk a little bit about your characters now. So now you have ba how, what their mental and physical mechanical makeup is going to be in the game, but let's talk about who you think they were from ages zero to 18, like where they grow up, what kind of what kind of planet, what kind of family are they from? What are you thinking? Um, you know, obviously this is, we're working on on the fly. So if you want to change things to make it, make it fit, that's totally fine. Um, but Sydney, what are you, what are you thinking for your, for your person? So um, I'm pretty much sticking with what I had said before for where I place stuff, except I switched dexterity and strength to make strength a 10 and dexterity a six, but my person, it's interesting because their intellect is five, but I got an 11 for education. So I wonder if, I think they grew up on like a highly civilized world, you know, like in a good, good family, whatever that means, uh, and like went to school and stuff, but they just did not care about school. Like they weren't there to learn. They were there because that was their upbringing and they had no interest in whatsoever. And I think... I think like as soon as they could get out, they did. So perhaps they left their uh, planet or just like town, city, whatever, and kind of like went off and possibly fell in with a bad crowd, maybe. Um, a ne more nefarious crowd. Uh, so yeah, they do, they had a good educational background, which is why they're, they have a high education, but they're not that 
smart. Um, <laughs> and I think they've gotten into like quite a bit of trouble over the years. Um, so here's my question though, Matthew. Yep. I was thinking about this. What if I want them to be a prisoner? Um, I guess you, there's no reason why you can't start off term one as a prisoner. Um, yeah, but it, I think it would says, automatically qualify, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't think really? you have to roll for it. <laughs> I don't think you're not trying to get in prison, but I just my grades <laughs> were just terrible. I just could they wouldn't. <laughs> She's like, what's his fate for Arrested Development? She breaks into prison to like prove that she can. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, what the, are you in for? <laughs> the qualification uh, for prisoner is special. Nothing. Yeah, so what is, I was going to ask you, it says one does not qualify for prison. You simply get sentenced there for a crime you may or may not have committed. So I wonder then, like, how does that happen game-wise, just mechanically? You can, there are events that can happen where you do get thrown into prison uh, during your career. But yeah, I would think, it's it's up to Matthew, but I would think, like, if you wanted to start off at, like, 18 in prison, I think that would probably be okay. I mean, I have absolutely no problem with you starting out as a prisoner at 18, <laughs> but I, will, I would be remiss if I didn't tell you that the mustering out benefits of prison are rather low. Not very good. Yeah, I, I think was it's what, that. $10? $10 and a, and a cab trip? I got $10 and a shiv. Let's go to space. I mean, not no no joking. If you roll a two on, on a 1D for your mustering out benefits, you get, there's no cash available. Or if you go if you go for the benefit, you get a blade. <laughs> cool. Um, oh, okay. I'm, I'm not right. going to do that. I think I'm going to go for rogue. I think it's more in line with what it is, and per- mayhaps I end up in prison, but I think I'm going for okay. a roguish background. <laughs> okay. You can be falsely accused. Yeah, or yeah, I mean, you can be on the run. Like I said, they're not that they're not that smart. So right. maybe they were in nefarious stuff, but they were kind of like Mr. Bean, like walking into it, like, what is he? Like, I don't know what I'm doing. Here's the drugs, you know. Yeah. All right, so you had a, a well, well-educated, uh, a well-educated uh, person who fell into a life of low intellect thievery or crime. <laughs> they're just starting out. They could build their way up. They could oh, become sure. like the kingpin, but yeah. All right. Okay. Um, I like it. Alicia, what are you thinking? Who who is this person from ages zero to eighteen? Okay, so have this idea, and you hear me out. <laughs> I like okay. it already. I can't <laughs> wait to hear this. <laughs> she grew up on a commune. Her family was very into doomsday prepping. Ooh. And they grew up in a commune and a big community of like colonists on a planet. And her parents like believed in sustainable living and they had a slogan. And the slogan was like, everything can start with a seed and everything can die in a fire, like something like that. Cool. <laughs> It's like a non-governmental organization that her parents sort of ran. And she grew up on that commune of people who prep for doom. So they're very, they're very crunchy sort of. And that's how she grew up. And she has two older sisters that kind of flew off and went to other planets. So what I did was I did my 10 is in strength, 10 in dexterity, 8 endurance, 8 intellect, 11 education, because I want her to be sort of smart, even though she grew up in a sort of crunchy environment. So maybe uh-huh. she like teaches like college, like local university courses, like on improving environmental outcomes and sustainability design, developmental and extreme couponing, stuff like that. So you, you're, so she grew up on a kind of, in a very, in a commune, crunchy granola way, but she wants to yes. be a teacher, like she wants to be a scholar of some kind. Yeah, or like a, you know what, no, what she wants to do is she wants to have her own commune. She wants to, like, be a colonist. Oh, okay. Like, yes, like oh, yeah. start okay. different communes on different uninhabited rogue planets. So would you mm, go? Would, you could go scout with that. You could go citizen and do, do the colonist special the assignment. There's lots yeah, of a couple of. Let's look. 
You can go drifter. <laughs> Though I would Ooh, a drifter. <laughs> I wouldn't yeah. recommend that. Yeah, don't start off with Yeah, drifter. you know, I could do citizen because then I could do colonist or I could do scout and be like a, an explorer. Yeah. Maybe I should just be a, be a colonist that way then. Well, yeah. that's up to the dice. And that's yeah. like her dream of setting up her very own commune. So she can be a commune chief. Yeah. Every Are time you say commune, I feel like you're about to say cult and then you don't. You're like, <laughs> commune. <laughs> Maybe that's why she ends up in jail and she meets you. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe in prison. I'm gullible as hell. You could pull me in so quickly. I should say, I should say, um, you based on what you are thinking here, you get you get background skills. Um, so you cho- there's a list on page nine, and you get uh, a number of those skills at level zero, uh, equal Ooh. to your education di- dice modifier plus three. So yeah, so you'll get four. Oh, I get four of them. Yes, on the, we, I mean, on the citizen page, right? On the citizen sort of breakdown, I get four of them. <gasps> no, no, no. This is on page nine. There's a, a table called background, like background. skills. Okay, well, um, let me dig it up. It's it's, it's a ba- it's oh, a list. Oh, I see of, it. Got it. Yeah. Thank you. So you all of you guys like start. You can start to think about that. But I'm gonna, let's Seth. What are you thinking for your character between the ages of zero and eighteen? I grew up on a water world that was mostly actually underwater due to a toxic environment. Uh, above the surface so I actually grew up in like an underwater habitat on a colony Um, which I kind of see like it was kind of like I was in space but I wasn't Uh, so I actually I'm wanting to leave this colony so um, I had four background skills so I chose um, athletics for swimming uh, seafarer for you know moving aquatic vehicles (laughs) and uh, mechanic because I'm pretty sure that's really freaking critical in an underwater habitat. Somebody knows how to fix yep. that door. Yeah, it makes sense. And a uh, vac suit for Scuba. breathing apparatus. Yeah. So Great. that's that's it. Okay. And Skid, what are you thinking? I think that my person grew up on the moon, grew up on Earth's moon. They are a descendant. Uh, they're like a multiple generations of, of Navy people, like that they're this inheritor of like maybe five or six generations serving in the Imperial Navy. And he's he's basically been prepping his whole life to go into the Naval Academy. Like that's, that's all, like everything has just kind of been focused that way. It's a very proud Naval family. And that would explain to like his uh, low strength you know, like growing up on a low gravity world, you know. Mm, that's fun. Uh, yeah, so I think that's that's my plan. Um, and let's, great. Thank you all. Um, let's talk a little bit about um, what skills, how skills work. So you can roll any skill in the game at any time. Uh, you just have to do it at a dice modifier minus three, um, which, you know, is pre- can be br- pretty brutal. Um, if you have a le- if you have that skill at level zero, you, that means you're basically competent in that skill, and you can just roll that with no penalty, but also no boon. Uh, so it's you at a plus zero. Level one is you're trained, and you get a plus one to the roll. Uh, levels two to three, you're professional, um, plus two or plus three, and then uh, a f- anything four or above, uh, and you can't do anything more than four in character creation, I believe. Um, that's going to be well respected in that field. So the example they give in the book is um, a traveler with medic one would probably be a, a paramedic or a nurse. Uh, medic two might be a doctor. Three might be like a well-regarded doctor with years of practice. Uh, and then four or above would be your, you'd have to be at least world renowned um, or, you know, at least known across multiple systems. Um, and then, of course, there's jack of all trades, the most, one of the more fun skills yeah. in the game. Uh, so as you pump that, that allows you to roll those untrained skills at, you know, at, with less of a penalty. Um, question. Yeah. So when we do our first, I think this, I had the same question the first time I played this game. When we put our first skill point into the skill, it's a zero, not a one. Zero, yeah. Now, uh, something worth mentioning. So say you took science, science at level zero. That would mean mm-hmm. you get to roll all science skills at level zero because you haven't chosen the specialty yet. But then let's say at when you when you go to school and you want to be a biologist and you put you choose science biology as a skill, you get that at level one, but you don't get all of them at level one, just the one you're, you're choosing. Um, we did that wrong last time. I apologize. Um, cool. Well... Once everyone's got their background skills, why don't we do first terms? 
I have a question. Yeah. Carouse is like you're a party animal, right? Yeah, um, and it can become it can come into play like if you want to gather information with a you know if you go out drinking and you want to kind of like figure out like you gather some rumors or some intel on some other people you can also use that skill and this is directly from the book to drink somebody under the table um, oh. so it's it can be useful depending on the setting okay gotcha okay um, how are we doing everyone good on background skills yep let's do it yes. all right. Sydney, <laughs> let's start with you. Do you want to go to college or are you going to go straight to your career or try to anyway? I think I'm going to, I was just debating this because I'm like, maybe she tried to go to, like maybe she went to military school and like ended up not liking it. But I don't know. I think she's young, dumb, and she wants to be a thief. So maybe she just <laughs> goes straight <laughs> into doing that. Is that advised in Traveler? Is it like a good... Seth, tell me. Tell me the truth right now. You're on my side. Matthew's not. Is it a good idea to not go to university? Um, it, it, it really doesn't make too big of a difference in the long run because what you get at a career will, will probably uh, be just as good. Uh, Story-wise, it could just be fun to go to university, just have it end with, and then I went to jail because I learned how to make methamphetamines. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's yeah. true. You do still learn stuff in school. Maybe she's not going to class. Yeah. Maybe she's just doing other stuff. She it's could like, say, like, one semester. Okay. I mean, I, okay. I, I, I went to school to learn how to cook books. I mean, <laughs> right. Your education actually gives you a leg up in getting into school. But That's then true. It may, you may not be able to graduate. Yeah. This is the only thing. Mm. Okay, you know what? I'll just, I'll try to go to college. Okay. All right, so you're going to roll your education. Uh, you're, you're basically just 2d6, add your education dice modifier. So what yours was a nine, right? So it's... Um, My, I am in 11, so it's a plus one. Plus one. And then you just have to get six or above to get in. All right, let's see. Oh, I already rolled a six on the die. And that's going to be... A 11 plus one, that's a 12. Nice. Okay, so you crush the entrance exam. Uh, what, kind of, <laughs> so what, what kind of school do you go to? That's is a it, really good question. Do you go to I, Ohio State or do you go to <laughs> MIT or do you go to like a small liberal arts college on the moon? Or as uh, Seth mentioned before we started recording, Space DeVry <laughs> is always an option. Uh, I love it. Oh uh, yeah, I go to <laughs> I go to space space Rutgers. Space um, Rutgers. <laughs> <laughs> I go to uh, I go to space Cal Arts. Uh, <laughs> Please go to space Cal Arts. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think I honestly do probably something along the lines of space Cal Arts because I think she goes to a big school because her family. You know, maybe she's not in this like bad place yet. I think her family is like you have the upbringing, like, why wouldn't you go to school? And she's like, the world is so big. Let me leave. Let me go. So she goes far. I'm like the New York going this to Cal Arts. I'm like, I'm going as far as I can from my family. I'm going to be my own person. And meanwhile, she's now in the bubble of space Cal Arts uh, doing whatever that is. But Amazing. Okay, so at Space Cal Arts, uh, you, can, you can pick uh, two skills from the list on page 16, I believe. Um, okay. You'll, uh, yes. So you pick two skills from there, one, and you give yourself one at level zero and one at level one. Okay, um, what is profession? I just, I pick any profession? It what can is be, profession? it can really be whatever you want. Um, there's, so, there's a couple listed in there, like builder, scientist, or, uh, medic, uh, navigation, yeah. lawyer, electronics, animals, art. Yeah, the ones listed are <laughs> belter, biological, civil engineering, construction, hydroponics, and polymers. But wow. if you have an idea wow. of whatever you want to do, I probably yeah. would be open so, to like it. Like you get the street performer. Like you could be a street performer. Oh my gosh. Oh. Whatever. Um, God, I love the idea of her cooking meth in space. Yeah. <laughs> oh <my God>. um, <laughs> space <laughs> meth. <laughs> I think she, she definitely takes a zero or actually maybe she'll take a one, a level one in astrogation. Oh, because uh, okay. that's travel, right? Like that's space travel, or yeah, yeah, that's yeah. calculating yeah. jumps, and it's and navigation is the kind of land based or sea based version of it, and astrogation is the space version. It's yeah. really okay. important. It is yeah. very yes. important. Yeah. She definitely takes. <laughs> she, 
I think this is the thing. She goes to college with this bad attitude, but then she actually does learn some hard skills that she's like impressed with herself about. Um, so she's going to take astrogation one, and I think she'll take, honestly, electronics right now at a zero. Okay. Smart. Um, all right. So you're also going to increase your education by plus one. <laughs> um, just from all the learning. That's smart. And then uh, you get to roll on the table for a pre-career event. Oh, yes. So it's roll two, just two, two D6. Two D6. Okay. No modifier. Okay. Two D in the traveler parlance. Crack die. Okay. Seven. Uh, life, oh. life event. Roll on the life events oh. table. So go ahead oh, and roll, roll again. Boy. Where's the life events table? Uh, page 46. 46. Yeah. Forty-six. Yeah, knows the score. You also know I might have, I may or may not have sent you a, uh, a back and back and front one sheet that has most of the important character creation tables in one place. Okay. Oh, you did, didn't you? Yep. <laughs> and life events it. is on there. Matthew, you're so smart. I'm He's scrolling so much smart. on my stupid PDF. You're, so, you're wicked, wicked smart, smart, Matthew. You're wicked smart. All right, life <laughs> event. Here we come. That's a five. Improved relationship. A romantic relationship involving you deepens, possibly leading to marriage or some other emotional commitment. Gain an ally. Oh. oh. You know Ooh. what it is? What is it? I'm dating my professor. <gasps> Oops. Which one, your That's... astrogation or your electronics, professor? What's, what's hotter? Astrogation, probably. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm dating my professor. She's a bad girl, but that's why her grades are so good. Ooh, oh. <laughs> okay, um, and you gain, and I'm, gu I'm guessing you gain the professor as an ally. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna write professor. She doesn't know her name, professor. <laughs> professor, <laughs> my lover. Um, yeah. Professor, my lover. Yeah. Professor, my lover. Professor, my lover. All right. Well, now we get to see if you graduate. So it all's it. happening so fast. I know. I know, oh, guys. It's like the game, oh the God. board game, life. It just, everything is just really... <laughs> it's like the board game life, but it's with psionics and aliens and yeah. back suit training. Okay. Um, so you, this is an, a straight up intellect roll. So you'll add your intellect dice modifier. Oh no. And you have to get six or above. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. Well, this is why you said I wasn't going to graduate. <laughs> All right. Oh no. Oh. Oh. That's a 10 minus one, still above. Nice. Yeah. You almost graduated with honors, but you just, you just graduate. Wow. <laughs> okay. I break up slept with, my with professor. more professors. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. Oh, yeah. I shouldn't have, uh, shouldn't have only slept with one professor. What a fool. Okay. <laughs> so because you graduated, you increased those skills you chose by one level. Um, Kelly, oh, that I chose in school, just the two. Just those two, yeah. Okay. Um, and then you get an additional plus one to your education. And then um, you're not going to the, unless you're going to the military the, that has other stuff, uh, but you get a dice modifier plus one for uh, the careers agent, army, citizen, corporate, entertainer, journalist, Marines, Navy, scholar, and scouts. Um, but I'll let you just remember that because we'll, we'll do that for your qualification role next term. Okay. So you did good. I'll, despite your best efforts, you managed to get a, a college degree from Space Rutgers. Wow. <laughs> My parents are so proud. That's great. <laughs> All right. Um, Alicia, what are, do you want to go? To, does your person want to go to college or? You know what? I distinctly remember skipping college the last time we played this game, and that might have been the beginning of my character's downfall. <laughs> <laughs> so she's going to get an education this time. Okay. Yeah. Uh, roll an education roll uh, to see if you get in. You're setting a much better example for the audience. <laughs> and a young Stay people in school, kids. For the other little kids in my cult. I mean commune. <laughs> <laughs> I got a 10. Okay, you get in. Um, <gasps> okay, so I got you, in. you get in you get to go to school. Um, what exciting. kind of school are you going to? Are you go are you Going to Space Harvard or Space, uh, I don't know. She's going to the University of Prevert because that's what planet she's on. And it's the biggest university that has the best agricultural program. And that's okay. what she's doing. Prevert A&M. 
Leave her. <laughs> you don't even start, okay? <laughs> <laughs> just came to mind. It just came to mind. <laughs> okay. So pick a level zero skill and a level one skill from the list on page 16. Um, mm, one skill so I can take... <gasps> I can get animals, astrogation, but you have astrogation, so I'm gonna skip that because, you know. I think I'm gonna do. I mean, if you wanted to do, prof- if you wanted to do like, um, is there yeah, science, is agriculture one of the sciences? I think it is. Yeah, but when are we gonna have to like milk a cow in our adventures? You never know. You never know. <laughs> no, you never know. <laughs> I'm literally writing it for you all, yeah, so you never yeah, know. Yeah, he's writing the adventures, so. <laughs> <laughs> You ever milk a cow during combat? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, there's a table for to calculate how long that would take. There you milk a cow? Yeah, there's a table to calculate how long anything takes. <laughs> yeah, let's <laughs> oh my. take it for a spin. You know what? I'm going to take animals. Okay. So what does that mean? Uh, it's I basically, add a plus, you, you, oh, I add a zero. Oh, I can it add, can be ooh. zero or a one. You get two skills. Um, Let's do a zero in animals. And then my second skill is going to be, because she wants to run a commune, maybe she should do admin, because that would be someone who's like in charge, right? Yep. And that'll help you deal with all the red tape and the bureaucracy and all of that. Let's do, yeah, let's do that. Because I think okay. I'm going to make her, she's going to have kind of like a, not bossy sort of exterior, but she's gonna know what she's talking about and she's gonna know what she's worth, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Good. if you wanna be a cult leader, you gotta, you gotta project a kind of confidence. Cults get it's a commune. I mean, commune. Sustainable <laughs> living. <laughs> what am I thinking of? I'm Everything so you come over the place seed. Get the mic, God, get the mic. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, great. Okay. Uh, you increase your education by plus one. Yay! Wait, wait, my modifier plus one or my or my number? Your number. Oh, okay. What uh, are you up? To, what are you up to now? Twelve. Oh which wow. might also wow. change my modifier. Let's see. Yes, will it, it will. change my modifier? Yeah. <gasps> now you get a plus two to your education nice. rolls. Wow. She's a smarty. Hope she, she didn't go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Well, let's see what happens. Roll for roll for an event. So roll t- roll two d six and and tell me what you get. Been doing good for me so far. Seven. Get a life event. So roll two d six again. <laughs> I was I was really I was I just happened my eyes happened to glance on the uh, you uh, you become hopelessly addicted to drink or drugs. <laughs> oh my God. Will you guys stop? <laughs> <laughs> Let's not start with the disasters yet. Seven. Uh, new contact. You gain a new contact. So who do you meet at school? <gasps> Who do I meet at school? Okay, since Sid has a romantic relationship, do it, can an alien be at the school? Can an alien like sure. be whatever? Sure. Okay, so she befriends someone who is an Aslan, and his parents are like extremely, are, are like some sort of. I want them to be bad guys or something. So she sort of befriends someone from the wrong side of the tracks. Oh. And she finds everything that he does so interesting. And the fact that, like, you know, he eats, like, actual meat and stuff like that. And he uh, he watches television and he grew up with running water and electricity. Like, that's really interesting to her. Yeah. That's <laughs> Great. awesome. Maybe he's, like, the bouncer at the Space College Bar or something. <laughs> That's really, yes, yeah, something like that. Like she, I mean, she grew up on a commune and she wears, you know, hemp skirts and stuff like that. And he is like this edgy, you know, leather wearing something, something. There's no like romantic relationship yet, but she does find him intriguing and she kind of like attaches herself to him. Okay. Maybe he's the reason she goes to jail. I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, so he's right. definitely in her life. And do well, they, like, like, he was an Aslan, she was a girl. <laughs> gonna make it any more obvious. Yeah, so this is, this is the sci fi rock song that I was talking about. This is the college rock it. song. <laughs> it was the whiskers. The whiskers just sort of drew her in. Oh, boy. For a minute there, I thought that was the name of his band. <laughs> the whiskers? <laughs> the whiskers, yeah. The whiskers. I feel like he's in a band. band. He's in a band. He's the drummer. Obviously, she's into him. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah, he has a band. That's a really good idea. And she saw him playing at one of the local, like, uh, like little bars on the college campus. And she saw yeah. him, and she's like, "Wow, those paws! 
interesting. <laughs> 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 How interesting. Awesome. All right. Well, let's see if that, if you still manage to graduate. Uh, so give me an intellect roll. What? Okay. Do I have to beat a number or anything? Oh, I don't you know. You have to get way. six or higher. I got a three. Uh, where's the modifier? Oh. Three. Three. Okay. So you don't graduate. What oh, happens? It's his fault. It's his fault. <laughs> you, um, you leave college to follow the band? <laughs> yeah, she was doing so well, but she just sort of, you know, maybe because she, she grew up on a common, so she's used to the, the follower sort of mentality. So she just, he was all like, you know, um, I'm not going to be doing this much longer. I'm going to break out of this school, you know. Maybe maybe he was studying, um, he was studying puppetry. He was going to learn how to be a puppeter, puppetry. but it screwed him up. <laughs> and so Asla- he had this and band. puppetry. <laughs> <laughs> Very popular with essence. Yeah, yes. traditional yeah. Aslan shadow puppetry. It's, it's canon. Yeah. Yes, it's canon. And um, she got drawn in by by the whiskers and his tours, and she stopped going to class, and her grades slipped, and she didn't graduate from the University of Prevert. The tale is all this time. <laughs> all right. <laughs> You the beast! You the beast! It is, it is beast. <laughs> All right, Seth Skorkowski, let us return to the underwater world Okay. after we take a break for this message from our sponsor. Welcome back to Voyagers of the Jump. I really hope you enjoyed that ad break, uh, but now we're going to get to something that I've been waiting for for this whole episode. Seth. What are you, you gonna do, do with your first term? <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna leave my little underwater habitat and I am gonna go off to uh, the Naval Academy. Okay. Because I would like to leave my planet to go to one that has trees and birds and other stuff I've never seen before. Okay, so this, to gain entry to the Naval Academy, it is an intellect eight plus. Okay, uh, so I have a plus one to my intellect. Let's see. Wow. Okay, so eight exactly. So I rolled a seven, so I got plus one. So oh wow. Oh wow. All right. Skin of your teeth. Barely made it. (laughs) (laughs) Do you you think it was like I? I feel like when you like if you if you want to go to West Point or the U.S. Naval Academy, you have to like run a mile in a certain amount of time. Like there there are also like physical admission requirements. (laughs) Was it the mile run that got you? It was. It was definitely the mile run. So yeah, so I I I barely made it. Uh, maybe maybe it's just because like I had like I came from a graduating class of thirty, and they're all like, "Well, he was in the top ten percent, so you know, let's give him a." <laughs> <laughs> Great. One day I'll talk about my how the the job I worked in college admissions. Um, and it's there are tales to tell that I'm not allowed to. Um, so I won't talk about it. I don't know. I'm going down this route anyway. <laughs> You can so, tell us later. I could tell you guys. No, actually, I probably couldn't. Wink, you, wink. Well, um, <laughs> okay, so for the naval, the naval academy is a little different. So you get, uh, and this is as you you know this stuff. I'm doing this for the audience. Um, you get all service skills at level zero from the naval career. So for you, that's pilot, vac suit, athletics, gunner, mechanic, and gun combat. Uh, and many of them I, I had from my background. So it's like, oh. Oh, I yeah. wanted it, so if I didn't get in, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have had the zero. But it's like, ah, yeah. oh, there went three of my my background skills. I already, I just got them again, and it didn't go up. It's just to zero. Yeah. So, uh, um, Gunner. Okay. But there's other cool stuff you get from going to the military academy, especially if you graduate. Um, <laughs> yes. Okay. So then, yeah, when you're ready, give me a roll on the table for a pre-career event. Whew. Ooh. Okay. Seven. Life event. <laughs> all of you have rolled a wow, seven. So far. We've it's, all, it's the most likely it's the most roll. Common, yeah. it, it's it the is most the most likely, likely roll. On <laughs> I was hoping to be like a two where I get like recruited by the scions. I know. Oh, it's, yeah. There's some cool stuff on there. Yeah. Okay. Life event. Eleven. Crime. Oh, wait. Oh, you, you come go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> you commit oh or gosh, are the victim what? or are accused of a crime. Lose one benefit roll or take the prisoner career your next turn. Oh my. <laughs> oh my <God>. Great. Living <laughs> out Jesus. my dream. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. That's what you stole. That's what your crime is. You stole her life's dream. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I hope you're happy. <laughs> I've actually never rolled randomly a prisoner. So yeah. Yeah. All the characters wow. I've made have never done it. Awesome. What do you think happened? What do you think? Did you actually commit the crime, or were you, did you? Ooh. What happened? Okay. Um, so I remember, I am kind of like like a little little hick, you know, from like this little colony world. So I was I was actually probably pretty gullible. Uh, probably fell in with like the wrong crowd. I knew some mechanics and whatnot. So I probably actually uh, was helping with like a break in. Like I can get that the, the, those doors open and, and all that. But then when everything went south and everybody like ran, I was kind of left holding the back as this kind of like backwoods scuba boy. Uh, so scuba boy in the sea world. Come on, scuba boy. You know, walking around with my flippers on campus. I was like, what the hell is with this guy? Oh my god. Well, <laughs> I, see, I'm looking at the Seth. I don't. I, I tell me if I'm wrong, but I think there's no reason to say you couldn't try to still graduate, right? Like this is, doesn't say you can't graduate, so it's not specified. So maybe your trial, your trial goes on, and you get to continue yeah. going to school. <laughs> yeah, I walk totally, across yeah. the stage, and I just get handcuffed. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh damn, they caught me. <laughs> so do you want to try to graduate? <laughs> yes. Go All right. for it. Intellect, uh, seven, seven plus. Okay, okay, so I get a plus one for that. Is your, uh... Motherfucker! Is, oh, is no! Your, wait, wait, you, if your endurance is eight or higher, your social is eight or higher, you get a dice modifier. Plus one. Okay, well, so I rolled a five. Okay. Uh, I have a plus one for the intellect, so that's a six, and my endurance is a nine, so I get a, a plus one. A plus one. Wow. Wow. That's nice. So you squeak yeah. by. Okay. This was so your distracted from your fighting. upcoming trial. <laughs> yeah, and you barely say. graduate. This is your lawyer arguing with the board of uh, education, <laughs> like, let him graduate. This is amazing. Um, okay, well, you get a bunch of stuff. So you can select any three of those service skills and increase them to level one. Okay. Your education goes up by plus one. Nice. Uh, you did not graduate with honors. You do get automatic entry into your chosen branch of service. So maybe you go to a mil maybe you go into a military prison. Military prison. Maybe you go to Fort Leavenworth. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Space Fort Leavenworth. <laughs> okay. So say yeah. Don't don't worry, kid. You graduated so well that once you get out of the clink, <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> I mean, actually, technically, you can take your commission roll right now before your first term. Yeah. With a dice, dice modifier plus two. <laughs> I'm going to because the officers actually get much better conditions in prison. That's for sure. It's I, definitely. They yeah. have to. So, so, so I how saw do I do this? Escape. I know that's true. Uh, so your commission roll for the Navy is going to be a social standing eight or higher. And you get a dice modifier of plus two, did I say? Okay. Okay. So my social modifier is normally zero. So plus two. Okay. Got a nine. Yep. There, nine. Yep. Okay, awesome. so you are commissioned as an ensign and immediately taken to prison. <laughs> That's <laughs> Lieutenant <laughs> Prisoner 655321. Thank you very much. In the back of the paddy wagon. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I just love the thought of image oh of you God. being put in cuffs for a minute. <laughs> get your diploma. <laughs> you like, and you, get your, you get your bars. Uniform. You get your bars, your diploma, and a pair of handcuffs. I'm like, with my handcuffs, I have to take my hat off. It's yeah. a little bit here. <laughs> <laughs> um, one thing I want to bring up. Um, for you all is the connections rule. So there's a rule in in, in Traveler that when you're creating your characters, um, if if you decide you, you and another player want to have a connection during one of these events, um, you can actually gain more skills from that. So I, I'm not going to make you all decide now if you want to do that retroactively, that's totally fine. Um, okay. uh, but it's a good way to start to build the connections between you. That way you eventually can form, form a, a, a party later on. All right, so Ensign's, uh, Seth's Ensign uh, is shipped off to naval, the naval prison uh, and <laughs> skid. With honors. With honors. No, not with honors. No, not with honors. <laughs> but, but I get to go into the officer's, you know. Way better food. Prison. Way yeah. better, way prison better food. <laughs> if watching the bridge on the River Kwai teaches us anything, right. those conditions are so much better <laughs> for the officers. <laughs> All right, Skid. What are you What are you up to? 
Uh, okay, I hope I would also like to go to the Naval Academy. I, however, would like to not go to prison upon graduating. We'll see. <laughs> we you're all the, would like to not go to prison. You're, right? you're the son bitch who left me holding the bag. That's right. <laughs> That's right. It's like, that you don't understand. Amazing. My parents have this plan for me. I, I have to go. I can't go to jail. <laughs> I can't go to jail. You have to stay here, man. You grew up underwater. It just matter to you. <laughs> I mean... Are you actually going to do that? That'd be amazing. (laughs) Maybe. (laughs) Maybe. Well, let's see if you even get into military school, Skid. Okay. So it's an intellect roll, eight plus. Okay. All right. Plus one to this. Uh, Nine. Okay. You get into the Naval Academy. Uh, So you get, uh, same with Seth, you get all those service skills at level zero. Okay. And then you get an event. So roll roll on the table. Okay, roll on the life events table. The pre-career events table. Uh, five. Taking advantage of youth, you party as much as you study. Gain carouse one. Oh, awesome. That's nice. That's a good one. Great. I thought that was going to end way worse than it actually did. Yeah. (laughs) Taking advantage of youth, you send some dumbass to jail. (laughs) (laughs) He was the youth. (laughs) Send him to jail. (laughs) Um, all right. Um, well, let's see if you graduate. So this is also okay. an intellect roll, seven plus. Uh, is your endurance eight or higher or your social standing eight or higher? Uh, my social is nine, so. So you get an additional plus one to this roll. Okay. Uh, 11. You graduate with Ooh. honors. Yes. Okay. So Fuck you, scuba boy. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Um, <laughs> oh, Danny's little boy graduated with honors. What are the chances? It's like flipping you off as he crosses the stage. So select M3 <laughs> service skills and increase them to level one. Okay. Uh, increase your education by plus one. Oh. Because you graduated with honors, you increase your social standing by plus one. Ooh. You get automatic entry into your chosen branch of service, in this case, the Imperial Navy. And you, because you graduated with honors, you auto pass your commission role, which you get to take now. So you are automatically commissioned an ensign before you before, and you don't even have to roll. Oh, awesome! Okay, cool. Great. So, <laughs> two paths through the Naval Academy we witnessed today. <laughs> <laughs> it is possible to. What I learned it is possible to graduate and still go to prison. <laughs> Um, all right, Sydney. Uh, by the way, if you guys are thinking of names at all, let me know. I don't want to like I don't want to rush you, but if you have something, let me know. Um, I do know my last name. What is it? Speaker. Speaker. Yeah. How is it spelled? Uh, S P E A K E R. Very cool. cool. Uh, all right, Sydney. Let us return to your character. When last we left, they graduated college, right? Mm-hmm. So what are you gonna do with your life? So, things are not going the way I thought they would. I thought by now, uh, how old am I? 22 when you graduate? You're 22. Yeah, I thought by 22 I'd be in prison, but I guess that life just wasn't for me. So, (laughs) I guess I'll just go into a career. uh, And I think, well, here's the thing. I was going to go into Rogue because it was more aligned with like what I was thinking, but... I don't know. She's pretty smart and she did pretty well in school. And I think maybe I'm going to go for agent. But the thing is, Ooh. I really want to go for intelligence. And that's um, like a spy because <laughs> I think she should be a spy. But she has low intelligence or uh, intellect. Um, yeah. And that's so all it, you want to be. That's literally your qualification, survival and advancement roles would all be intellect. I know. I know. But. I'm gonna do it. And the qualification okay. to even get into agent is intellect. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> it's not terrible. Know, it's just six it's plus. Not, yeah. It's not the worst <laughs> thing ever, but let's see. I mean, she's going for it. She kind of got this is the age where she's like, I don't know what I want to do. I'd be a spy. Like, maybe. All right, let's see. And she just walks up to yeah. a building and knocks on the door. <laughs> and she's like, uh, Can I work here? Yeah. What's your- I want to be a spy. Maybe I'll get into prison that way. <laughs> <laughs> What's your my social dreams standing? will come true. <laughs> my social? Yeah. Uh, also five. <laughs> so okay. Minus one. I would say maybe maybe you're recruited because your 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 exceptional education and your just your level of social standing. But no. Just no. No. She's the worst. She's like 
pretty smart, but maybe she's like dickish. She just didn't have many friends in college. She didn't really study. She just is kind of getting by. She uh, has no like initiative. She's smart, but she's a lazy smart person. Like Yes, zero oh. initiative. And she's like, mm -hmm. it's all working out for me thus far. So oh. here I go. Maybe you're just really good at studying. That's what they like. You're not, you don't, you're not like naturally yeah. inclined towards, oh. but you're really good at studying. Mm. Like really maybe, good at yeah, studying. Maybe you just have like a really good memory. Honestly, yeah. I think that might be it. I think she like is getting by because she just has an easier time studying. Like she has an easier time sitting through a classroom and just like le hearing a lecture and being like, oh yeah, I got that. You guys didn't get that? Oh, it was like easy. Yeah, I know uh, a lot of people that are like not super sharp, like I, you would think, but they, they, they are able to study really well. And so they yeah. get mm -hmm. amazing grades. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think she got into school because she studied so well for her space, you know, SAT or ACT or whatever. And like, her parents were shocked, but she was yeah. just like, you got me a tutor. Like I did well. Yeah. It's like, it's so easy. Like why, yeah. why are you surprised? Yeah. Her All parents right, so. were surprised. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be a loser. <laughs> you would be in prison by now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your okay. big plans. I guess they're all well, out the window. No guys, prison for you. <laughs> first now I gotta roll, pay for college. First roll was a, a one. So I think I literally can't get in. No, it's possible. Uh, do I have to roll a six? No, I literally can't. I have a minus one. Uh -oh. You have a plus one for graduating, right? You have a, oh, yeah, you got you're a, right, you got a you're right. modifier. Okay, here we go. Still got to roll a six, but. I rolled a five. Oh, okay. So, uh, now wait, that you. Wait, wait. But that's a six plus one minus one. So it's still a six. So I did get in, right? Oh, you rolled a five on the die. Okay. A five so... plus a one and then plus one minus one. So six total. Oh yeah, yeah. You qualify oh, for your agent, yeah. your agent career. Yeah. Oof. Okay. Just, just I was supposed to go to prison, but now I'm in the CIA. <laughs> <laughs> uh, life's, life's fucking man. nuts, isn't it? Life's <laughs> funny that way, isn't I'm it? I'm giving <laughs> lectures to kindergartners, and I was like, I thought I'd be dead by now, but now I'm a cop. <laughs> What's <Yeah>. up? <laughs> okay. Where did I go wrong? <laughs> so uh, you get. Uh, you're gonna get the service skills for intelligence all at level zero. This is your basic training. Okay, wait. So for you, that's gonna be investigate, recon, electronics, comms, stealth, persuade, and deception. Nice. Wait, Great. where is this? Sorry. Page 22. Oh, hold on. I gotta go to the age table. Wait, what do I look at? So you, because <laughs> you wanted to go the, intel the intelligence route? So you see the oh, skills yes. and training. There's the intelligence part, and you get you just get all six of those at level zero. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay, cool. Um, but now comes the important role. Let's see if you survive this term as an as an as an, as an intelligence officer. Uh, <laughs> okay. Oh my so gosh. This, this is an intellect seven plus role. Okay, here I go. Oh my gosh, I rolled a five and a two. You survived. Minus, no, minus one. Oh. Because of my intellect, right? I do oh. have to do my modifier. Yeah. 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 Oh. Oh no. <laughs> so what does that mean? It means she gets drummed out of her agent, your intelligence do officer I, career. Do, oh, I get to, do I get to keep the plus one from doing so well in school or that's just for the first one? What do you mean? To enter oh, the no. career. That's, That's just, just for the to first enter the career. Right. Yeah. Honestly, uh, sorry. honestly, she knew it was coming. This was not the career for her. She uh, yeah. she thought she wanted this, and then she was like, I could be in prison right now, looking out the window. Well, let's <sighs> see what happens, uh, because you got to roll on the mishap table. Oh, I um, forgot when you flunk out. Oh, shit. Yeah, so roll, uh, roll, one, roll 1d6. Okay, all right. This is like, this is where things can go bad, kids. <laughs> yeah, this the is, mishap right. table. Yep. Yeah, a six. Injured. Oh, Roll no. on the injury table. <laughs> you went to a carnival. Where's <laughs> 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 your safety goggles, kids? <laughs> <laughs> All right, a roll, two. Roll oh on. no, a two! Oh no, severely <laughs> injured. Reduce one physical characteristic by one D. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. So roll so, another one D6. You can, you can get it fixed. You can get a medical You can't get it fixed. Yeah, we can get it fixed. I rolled a six! 
So what? Okay, let's look at this. What are your What are your physical characteristics? Oh. Your strength, dex, and, and endurance. What are they? <laughs> My strength is a 10, my dexterity is a 6, my endurance is a 7. I have to minus it by a 6? Yeah. 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 But you can, oh you, can there my. Are, you can get, as Seth pointed out, you can get it fixed. Um, okay. It's going to cost you some, some change. Cost you some money. But. All right, I'm going to do strength since that's the most that I have. So um, what was the injury? What do you think happened? So what happened? Yeah, what happened? If it's my strength, oh God. Okay. I back honestly, injury? Maybe a back injury? I, I think she was like in this career of intelligence in the agency and was trying to be a spy and she was taking on all and she wasn't like she has a 10 in strength, but she's never trained physically like she wasn't an athlete. She didn't do sports. And I think she went into all these like really intense training sessions and just had no idea what she was doing. And I think it was a back injury. I think it was like a spinal injury and she fell from like a platform. It was like a, you know, like a, like like a, a treetop running. Beams or, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like all things. these <laughs> different obstacles and uh, yeah. like the Witcher, the thing that right. uh, Sir, uh, Siri does. Yeah. And she got whacked and like just pelted off this platform and landed oh. directly on her back, sickening crack and kicked out of the academy for her injury. I mean, she had to leave. She just like had to recover and, and left the agency. Wow. Okay. Well, I have some bad news and some good news. Which would you like first? <laughs> What's the good news? <laughs> give me the bad. No, give me the bad first. Give me the bad first. Okay, so medical care, you can rep- you can get that back for the cost of 5,000 credits per point. Yeah. But, but here's the good news. Because you were injured in the service of, of work, some of your me- it's possible that some of your medical bills will be covered by your job. Okay. There's a table for this. So Okay. <laughs> There's a table for it. So roll uh <laughs> roll two D and add your rank as a dust dice modifier, so that's zero because you're you're you were you didn't you didn't ascend the ranks of your intelligence officer career. So you roll two okay. D. What table is this? Uh, I'm on page forty nine, the medical bills table. <laughs> okay, that's a five and a five, a ten. Okay, that's great. So uh, the uh, the uh, the intelligence service, or whatever we're going to call it, is going to cover seventy five percent of the costs of your medical treatment. Nice, nice. <sighs> that's good because okay. they come looking for debt. In the <laughs> that's, oh, yeah. yeah, that's true. Oh yeah. So that was cool. so. What what would it be? It would be thirty thousand credits to get back up to full strength, and they'll pay for seventy five percent of it. So you still have to come up with a little bit of change, but you know. I had to wait. I had to write workers that down. Workers' comp so kicked in. Yeah. Okay, so it was 30,000 and they pay. No, I'm sorry, it was, yeah, 30,000. And they pay for 70% of 30,000. 75%. 75%. All right. Well, I lost my job and I hurt my back. Do I have to roll a life event? That, you, know, <laughs> you get a, it's a mishap in lieu of a life event. Thank um, God. All right. So, <laughs> and, you're in, and you're in debt. Yeah, yeah I'm in debt. <laughs> Medical so debt. So now yeah. you muster out, you have to leave. Uh, the intelligence service. So you have to leave uh, the Imperial Intelligence Service. And um, so you get, why don't we save this? <laughs> why don't we save this and do this later? Okay. Um, <laughs> because, because you were rank zero. It, we'll, we'll do this later. Okay. Um, okay. okay. So, do you, and you have a name? Did we? Did you come up with a name for your character? Not yet. Next go around, I'll have one. Okay. All right. Uh, so a devastating back injury takes your character out of the Imperial Intelligence Service, but maybe a bunch of your medical bills will be co- will be covered. Mm. Uh, Alicia, where do we find your character for her first term? Okay, so I'm, I'm realizing I'm the only person that didn't actually finish university. Am I hearing that correctly? Oh. Yeah. I'm the only yeah. person? Even the guy okay. that went to jail graduated. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the wall of my cell. Do you have no excuses? <laughs> Graduated with right to jail. I'm sorry, I fell in love with a lion. Man, I didn't go to prison or anything, but it's still pretty tough. Graduate. Well, yeah, you were following okay. the band. So uh, yes. what, what career are you going to go into? The Aslan that she sort of glommed on to convinced her that like it wasn't even important. We don't need University of Prevert. We can go to another planet and we can start our own commune and he can go on tour with the Whiskers. And that's where, so she started being kind of like a roadie sort of thing and they went from planet to planet. Like his band is not doing very well though. I don't think, I just don't get the impression the band is like, like they're playing like smaller, smaller venues, but they have like, 
10 people watching and it's kind of like, it's, it's heartbreaking, but she's sticking with it because she really believes in, I had to think of his name, I don't know his name yet, but I can see him in my mind's eye. I don't think he's a good person, thing. I don't think he's a good Aslan. And I think he knows he has her wrapped around his little dewclaw. Got me wrapped around your dew claw. Got me wrapped around a dew claw. <laughs> Do you have I this? this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm. I don't want to roll anything. <laughs> well, okay, so are you gonna break free of this uh, of being a roadie or a, kind of a, and strike out on your on your own career or what? Do, what do you want to do? No, I think she she really does want to have her own like colony and her own commune of people who believe in what she believes in. And she really wants him to see the beauty in this kind of, you know, bringing a planet from like absolute garbage to like a functional and viable society. Like she likes, she wants to be a chief of some sort. It's really setting herself up, isn't she? She's gonna go to jail, isn't she? Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> who knows? God. So okay, do you well want to be way, okay. a colonist? Is that what you, you want yeah. to choose? Okay. Yeah. All right. So to qualify, that's an education uh, education role five plus. Uh oh, that should not be eight. Yeah, a ten. Got Nailed it. it. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you you're gonna do the the citizen career with the colonist specialization. Let me yes. pull up that page. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you get uh, all the service skills on the citizen page. So this for you, that would be drive, flyer, streetwise, melee, steward, and profession of your choice um, at level zero. Awesome. Okay, so let's do, of my service skills, um, I'm trying to think what would be the best. Maybe steward, a steward is someone who like, You get right? all those. You get all of them. Oh. Yeah, all of them at, at level zero. And steward is great, especially great. for making money if you're like, if you're faring, if you get a ship and you're faring passengers, like you can do, you can charge for a high passage. I think if you have a steward, one or two, like you can, you can make a lot more money if you have a steward on board your ship. I can do like a space Uber and I can get people like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, that's yes. good. That's, <laughs> I definitely consider my my cab my taxi cab rides as high passage. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> when they when they put the little water bottles in the back seat for me, that yeah, I know that's that. high passage. It's high passage. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I like that. Okay, good, good, good. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, now uh, let's roll for survival. Which for you is going to be an intellect seven plus. This is interesting because for the for the colonist, it's an intellect role, not an endurance role. Oh, that I is just, interesting. Like if you just work, your worker but is endurance. But advancement is endurance, though. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you got to be smart. You got to be smart to survive. It was a seven. Okay, you got it. Got it. Um, you survive, so you gain an event. So roll two d on the life events table. Oh. Five. Improved relationship. A romantic oh. relationship involving you deepens, possibly leading to marriage or some other emotional commitment. Gain an ally. So I both think, oh, those are the, pick one or all of them? It sounds like that you, get, you have a new romantic entanglement is what it sounds like. Oh, wait, are you automatically jumping to the life events table? Because there's a separate events oh, table. Oh, you're right, I am, I'm sorry. Oh. I read the wrong one. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is interesting. I was like, "What?" Yeah. Your business. Oh, okay, so your business expands. Your corporation <gasps> grows, or the colony thrives. Gain dice modifier plus one to any one benefit roll. Thank you, oh, Skid, nice. for that. Ooh. Oh, this is awesome. We mean my commune is growing. My following and disciples are growing. Exactly. <laughs> or the the group that you're following is growing. Either way, uh, I don't. What do you think? Have you started the com Have you started the commune already, or are you a member of another commune that you're eventually going to break well, off no, from or left, take over? Yeah, she left her parents' commune um, when she failed out of college because of Aslan. She went sort of on like a galaxy tour, and the tour was called the um, the refrigerator kitty tour. Kitty? <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Uh, yeah. Yes, definitely. Yeah. And so she went on tour with him, but in the back of her mind was always like, we need to have, we need to have a place that's ours where we can settle down. And so they were gonna pick a P-class planet and start this commune. So 
maybe the but you know what her allegiance is to this Aslan so maybe his band does start blowing up a little bit maybe that tour Ooh. does do well and they start actually getting people start like hearing about them across the galaxy and the cosmos and then you settle on a planet and his his and his followers become your your commune yes fans <laughs> and followers you smell what i'm cooking i smell like, what you're okay. cooking yeah <laughs> this is good okay it's like I the like beetles in the ashram or something. yes i think of names for them for all of that but yeah that's a good idea but the whiskers uh, are blowing up. The whiskers are blowing up. They've started, like, they literally have started a, a whole commune. Yeah, just and then. you know what? The whiskers are doing a promotional tour, sort of, and they went and they performed for a prison where there were some naval officers. That were- <laughs> like Johnny Cash. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we, we, we can talk of- about the connections rule. Um, Aslan Prison Blues. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> All right, well, let's see if you advance in your career. Okay. So roll uh, an endurance roll. You're looking for five or higher. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's a 10 plus, yeah, just a 10 flat. Okay, you nailed it. So you are now rank one, which does not have a name. <laughs> awesome. Um, Yay! All right, and then you gain a, and because you you succeeded on your uh, advancement roll, you get a bonus roll on one of the skills tables. Um, Just right now? Right now, yeah. So you can choose either personal development, service skills, or the colonist table. And you roll 1d6. So you pick one of those, and then you roll 1d6 to choose. Okay, let's do... Colonist for Jack of all trades. I thought you might right. like that. Go for let's it. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Five. Survival. Okay. So, so you get survival at, if you didn't have it already, you get it at level zero. If you have it already, you move it up to level one. Yeah, moves up to level one. Yay. Amazing. That's great for a colonist. That's good. Starting your yep. own commune, that's a great skill it to have. Is. Yeah. Yeah, I'm feeling good about this role, but I'm speaking right. too soon. I should shut up while I'm ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a name for your character yet? Yes. Okay, so my character's name is Georgina. You can call her Georgie or Gigi, but you can't call her Gina because that's reserved for her grandmother. And 90% of the time, her grandmother doesn't even know who she is, but it doesn't matter because it's not for you. Georgie or Gigi. That's it. Okay. Awesome. Georgina mm-hmm. or Georgie. Georgina. Or Gigi. Georgina or Georgie or Gigi. Yep. Or Gigi. Okay. All right. We'll leave leave her there. And Seth, where do we we pick up? Are we gonna, we're doing the prison the prisoner career, right? <laughs> I've, been, I've been looking it up because I also have to figure out my parole stuff, which will be our first role. Okay. <laughs> because I have to see if I qualify for okay. parole every after every term. So that's a one D plus four. So this tells me how in trouble I am. Not too bad. Seven. So my parole threshold would be seven. Okay. So at the end of each term, I have to roll, and if I get below a seven, I'm still in I'm still in the clink. And then what are you rolling? What are you rolling to advance? Okay. So um, what I'm okay. going to do is my sub career as a prisoner. Once I'm in the uh, you know my 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 military prison, is I'm going to go with the fixer. Okay. Uh, direction. Oh, cool. Um, so I'll, I'll do that because that one's intelligence and endurance, which I got those. Um, so you're like, you run the black market on the, in the, in prison. <laughs> yeah. Do you, so, you, I assume you get all the service skills at level zero too, right? Cause this is my first technical career. Yeah. So I'll get like streetwise, melee, unarmed, persuade, all that jazz. <laughs> Everyone should be a prisoner. This is great. I know. <laughs> so... <laughs> Uh, do you want to so just? I, this is about, literally uh, what I wanted to do. I wanted to be a fixer. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to be in the navy. <laughs> <laughs> so you gonna roll for survival now? Hell yeah! So that's gonna be uh, ooh man, that's survival hard. and this is that's hard. hard. <laughs> okay, nine, so nine plus on an intellect roll. Oh wow! Whoa. Okay, Ouch. so I've got a plus one. Eight plus one, nine. Wow. Got it. Oh. Nice. Okay. So uh, give me an event. Roll 2D. Okay. 
My God, these are awesome. <laughs> I mean, they're not awesome, but they're really interesting. <laughs> Three. Oh, no. You have the opportunity to escape the prison. Oh, my God. <gasps> if you wow. take this oh opportunity, roll either, roll, roll either stealth 10 plus or deception 10 plus, succeed, and you leave this career, fail, and you raise your parole threshold by plus two. Oh, but you don't have to take this opportunity. You could try to do your time. You could go on the road with the whiskers. <laughs> I mean. Look, you only get one event per term. And... I say I go for it. So I did just get deception zero. They just taught okay. me that. So I don't have any minuses because I'm not skilled in deception. Um, oh, amazing. This is going to break out of Fort Leavenworth. <laughs> <laughs> Remember last time when it was a plan and, 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 the, and the guys left me there, hold the bag? Well, yes. You would not believe this. Oh, no. no. But I got a three. Oh, <laughs> oh, it happened again. again. It happened again. They were it's like, the hey. same guys. They're in prison. <laughs> it's the same. Hold the gate open. We'll pull the car around and then we'll honk and then you go get in the car. And I'm standing there and they're like, just. <laughs> So wait, does it go under the jail now? What happens? <laughs> so his parole threshold goes up by two. Wow. Okay, so, so it goes from seven. You had a Navy career waiting for you the minute you got yeah. out. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh my God. All right, so now you, you, <laughs> you succeeded at your survival roll, so you still get your chance to advance, which is, yeah. and then well, you can roll to get out. You can roll to get paroled. Yeah. All right. So um, that's an endurance <laughs> five. Much easier. So I've got yes. a plus one on that. Oh, hey, there's the roll the shit had earlier. Okay, so I got an 11. Uh, so I definitely advanced. I got some street cred. By, yeah, so you're rank by, one prisoner. <laughs> by, uh, by like, it's like, don't trust him on a breakout, but he's a damn good fixer. <laughs> oh, did you, did you give yourself melee unarmed at level one because of your rank zero? No, but I will now. So he's get, getting to be a little bit of a fighter in there. Uh, I'm learning to box. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So <laughs> then you ears. you advance. You also get another roll on the skills table. Okay. Um. I tell you what. I am gonna go for uh the the fixer career package one. So it's one one D. Cool. Three. Deception. Yeah. I should have. Wish I had had that earlier. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, no. That's how we learn one. in life. It's by making mistakes. <laughs> Exactly. That's exactly how you got better at deception. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Now, how does the parole work? Um, so I roll 2D and I have to meet beat my parole threshold, which is now nine. Now it can never go above 12, but um, let's see. Oh, no, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. no. I got five. <laughs> so you do four years at Fort Leavenworth, Space Fort Leavenworth, and now you have to do another four. Oh. Yeah. Somewhere on the age of 56, I'm going to get out my go to Navy. And be <laughs> yeah, 56 year old Anson just coming out of jail. <laughs> Your spot's waiting for you. <laughs> but you graduated from Navy? Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, All man. right. Well, we'll leave you there and go to Skid's character, uh, Mr. Speaker. Yes. Well, Ensign, Ensign, Ensign Speaker. Speaker. All right. So you are in the Navy. Uh, so you, you I can also, meet my fellow man. So you get how, now? How does this work? Because you got all the service skills at level zero when the, at the Naval Academy, right? So do you do you bump them all up to level one? I think you do, right? Because basic training. I don't know that that's true. I don't either. Hold on. Uh, basic training. I don't know yeah. if it's true either. We'll yeah, I don't. I, I don't think so. I. I that it seems it would be unbalanced. If, if it yeah, were. that would be pretty. Un yeah. All right. Well, then let's um, have you roll on the table of your choice. Uh, for the uh, personal training skills and training. Table? You can do personal. Yeah, it's for personal development, service skills, officer, or whatever uh, assignment you choose. Okay, I think I'm personal development. 
roll on personal development. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's 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 pretty nice. Uh, five education plus one. Great. You continue to learn. All right, so yeah. what what assignment are you choosing? Line line slash crew, engineer slash gunner, or flight? Line crew. Line slash crew. Okay, great. Like he he wants to be a career like uh, leading officer. He, wa- he wants to be a ship captain. Okay, great. All right. Well, let's see if you survive. Uh, okay. <laughs> so this is going to be an intellect uh, five plus roll. Five plus. Okay. I have a plus one on my intellect. <gasps> Come on. Oh, fail. No. Four. Oh. Oh. I rolled a three. Oh, so, so Matthew, three. You, I rolled a three. You you wanted you wanted someone <laughs> some navy background, but you didn't specify. Successful, successful That's, Navy background. Yeah. Did, did, any, did you want any of us to be successful? Oh well, man. <laughs> oh. Certain choices were made. Uh, <laughs> certain Hell things the, happened. We'll oh. figure it out. Oh, so angry right now. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, let's uh, see what happened. Will you roll on the mishap table, please, Skid? So please easy go too. Uh, <laughs> uh, four. You are blamed for an accident that causes the death of several crew members. If you were responsible, <gasps> then you gain one free roll on the skills and training tables uh, before you are ejected from this career as your guilt drives you to excel. If you were not, then gain the officer who blamed you as an enemy, but you keep your benefit roll from this term. I I think I was I think I was blamed. I, I think it wasn't my fault, but as sort of the recent graduate low man on the totem pole, I probably, it's kind of, I, I think it's kind of like an Ed Exley situation from LA Confidential, where I was like, I graduated with honors. I'm like, I'm coming into the, you know, the Navy, like straight out of school, like, uh, you know, um, it pissing everybody off. And so that was, I, I was uh, uh, ripe for uh, being blamed for something. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Anson Bridger. Or not Bridger, sorry, that was your last character. No, sorry, Anson Speaker. Speaker. <laughs> sorry. All right. Um, okay. I can't believe you, you stupid alien dice. <laughs> Kill you. <laughs> um, okay, well, because you didn't, you failed your survival roll, you don't get to advance. Uh, you got your mishap. Uh, you don't get an extra roll on the skills table, but you do get to keep your benefits uh, from when, when you muster out. Okay. So mm. you could... You know, get a little something when you when they when they you they they honorably discharge you. I guess is what that means. Like they, yeah. okay. And uh, respect for my family, for my family lineage. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, let's do. I, what I would love to do is we we we're, we're let's keep going. Let's keep going. We're, we got some, we got yeah. some time. Sid, let's go back to your to your life over here. Uh, do you, your does your character have a name? Yes. Um, her name is, her given name when she was born was Piper Artemis, but in college she changed it to Artemis Piper. Uh, she just flipped it around and she, she felt that Artemis was a stronger name, but her family still calls her Pip for short. So like her close friends and family from her home world call her Pip. Okay. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Okay. Uh, so what are you going to do? Are you going to continue in your career or... No, I can't. Oh, right. I got out of my career. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot. All right, what are you going to do with your life now? You're 20, you're Ugh, 26, 20, and 20, you uh, you have a ho- horrific back injury that I'm assuming you have now had healed. Uh, yeah. What are you um, going to do? I think, honestly, I think now is when she turns into sort of, not a thief, but like a Robin Hood character because she got mm. burnt by the system she did the the right thing like she followed what her parents said she went to school she got good grades she went into she wanted to be an agent she wanted to like help the force and be part of the the system and she hurt her back on the job and just got completely screwed and she owes so much money still (laughs) and i think she's i think she's really bitter i mean she feels like any college graduate that took out private student loans and uh now she's like you know what fuck the system. So she's going to go into a rogue career and try to be a thief. She's going to totally change. Okay. Where is that professor? Where did that professor go? The professor is still an ally. Um, 
And according to my notes, it is still Professor My Lover. So I think. <laughs> oh, it's pronounced think, My Lover? Sorry, yeah. My lover, capital, yeah. <laughs> capital M apostrophe Lover. My Lover. My Lover. Um, Delphine My Lover. I think this professor is still in and around her life. I think it's like this sort of like, will we, won't we toxic, not toxic, but like, mm -hmm. they're never gonna be together, but you know, if she's around, she kind of like, you know, pops by and it's like, oh, we could get a drink. I mean, it's, we're not gonna, obviously, it's, we're past that, it's over, but then it's Space not Space booty calls? Space booty calls. Okay. With her older professor, and she's the one calling the shots, so that tells you. Mm. Uh, okay, so now I have to roll into the rogue career, right? Yes, and you have to take, so this is gonna be a dex six plus roll, and you have to take a dice modifier minus one for your previous career. Oh, shoot. Okay, that's okay, because <laughs> my dexterity, I, I have a zero, so it's not gonna hinder me too badly. Let's see if she can do it. Oh, that's a six. And that's a five. Yep. All right. So you you qualify for your career. Uh, so you're going with the thief assignment. Yes. Okay. Uh, so you because it's not your first career, you don't get all of those service skills. So instead, you roll on that. You're going to roll on one of those tables, either personal uh -huh. development, service skills, or thief. Okay. Oh, um, and you, it, it, what's your education? It's high, right? Yes. So you could also roll on the advanced education table. Oh. Interesting, interesting. Okay, I think I'm gonna roll on personal development because I don't really have like melee or anything like that. I'm gonna try that. Okay. And I got a four, gambler. <laughs> that helps nice. me. So you get into a little bit of some space cards. Okay. <laughs> well, space dice. Um, okay, well let's roll to see if you survive. Uh, so this is going to be an intellect six plus roll for you. Mm, this old, this old oh, one again. <laughs> pip, pip. That's a six and a three. I do. Okay. Uh, you gain an event. Roll 2D on the life events table. I'm sorry, on the uh, career events table. Career events. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right. Seven. Oh. Life event. Life event. We're on the life events table. Oh my gosh. Where's the life event? Suspense. Uh, oh. Five. Improved relationship. A romantic relationship involving you deepens, possibly leading to marriage or some other emotional commitment. Gain an ally. Funny enough that Gigi mentioned the, the uh, professor because mayhaps that's a little bit over now and there's somebody new. Oh, or oh. you guys, or you guys get married, and she has to change her last name. <laughs> okay, maybe to my but wife. Says, but <laughs> it says gain an ally, right? Don't I get another one? Yeah. Okay. So it, it seems like it's, uh, the way I'm reading it. Well, it's a romantic relationship involving you deepens, but you already have the professor as a, as an ally. So, so yeah, it's up to you. Okay, professor number two. <laughs> Damn, he has an MO for sure. My, <laughs> my S, uh, my MSO, my most significant other is Professor Number Two, and the other professor is l lower on the right. She has a roster. <laughs> a roster of professors. I have like a Google sheet to keep track. I'm like, I have so many professors. <laughs> the lineup. Um, all right, roll for advancement. So this is good for you. This is going to be a dexterity six plus roll. Oh, right. Okay. Ooh, oh, rolling rocks. That's a six, eight plus my dexterity is a zero. So eight. All right. So you are, you go to rank one and you get stealth at level one if you didn't already have it. Oh, yay. And yay. you get a bonus, you get a bonus roll on the skills table. Oh, wait, what does that mean? So you choose, again, same thing as before, oh, I you choose. choose. Okay. I'm going to do Thief and see what I get. <laughs> one, another one in Stealth. Oh, so you're, you're level two in Stealth. Okay, you're pretty... Wow. Okay. Um, so, yeah. All right. Well, we leave you there. You have found you finally found your way into the criminal underworld. It took you some time and uh, a lot of, uh, you know, 
a lot of right paths you needed to abandon before you could get there. <laughs> but into the are. criminal underworld and into her way to love. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's true. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we'll leave Pip there and go over to uh, Georgina. GG. GG. Oh, boy. So, okay, so last we left you, you were a colonist, and your colony was doing well. Colony was doing well, and her just indiscriminate, like, they don't have, like, a title. Person, his band was do- is doing really well, and he's starting, he got a really, he got a major record deal, and he's on tour, and he's visiting various prisons and performing um <laughs> maybe she's getting tired of being a lackey and like a, she feels she's starting to feel like a groupie a little bit and she found out that he had like this ongoing affair the vargar female with very large breasts. <laughs> six of them. <laughs> six of them. <laughs> and that made her want to break away entirely from him. So that'll do it. Maybe this is where she decides to leave the commune, even though she was doing pretty well, wasn't she? She was you know? doing pretty well. She was doing really well. So she once she found out about this this relay this relationship that he had going on, you know, she wasn't happy. So she could either just so she's having this moment where she's sitting to herself, do I stay here and keep building this little society that I've built? Or do I abandon everyone and do something different? You know what I'm saying? I, I hear what you're saying. You don't saying. look like you know what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. This is how life life comes at you fast. You have to make decisions, right? So are you saying you want to make decisions? Every four years you have to make decisions. Every four yeah, years she's you having, make right now you are seeing Georgie like sitting in her yurt on her cot and thinking to herself with a large grass, a glass of green juice on her on her night. Stand. And she's like, do I leave this mofo and go off and do another career or do I stay here and just kick him out? You know? It's it's a good question. Any advice? You, well, the you? other thing you could think about is ending your character creation right here. Yeah. Huh? Like you could say like, no! right, I'm going to end it here and just start the adventure. <laughs> You don't, you don't have to. Yeah, it's an option. <laughs> I don't trust you, Matthew. I thought that's where you were leading. I thought, sorry, I thought that's I thought that's where you were leading to. Wait, no. Alicia, do you do you want to change careers? Like, you don't want to be you don't want to do like colonization anymore. You want to try something different? No, you know what? This is this is how this is how this is how she thinks. One of her sisters has gone missing. She found out. Her sister was a bounty hunter <laughs> and she's gone missing. She just disappeared. Some, and she knows in her head, she heard this like just from a family member or something. And everyone's like, maybe she ran off. And she's like, no, somebody out there knows what happened to Lucy and I'm gonna find out. Cause if any, let me tell you something, that's my sister. If anybody's gonna kill her, it's gonna be me. <laughs> so maybe. <laughs> wow, Red. <laughs> Maybe she decides so to switch. So much going on. Sorry, already. <laughs> like, what's going on? Maybe she decides to like go off and like abandon the Aslan and the Whiskers, and she always hated their music anyway. It was trash, and decides to leave the commune entirely and like go off into the galaxy. Would that be ending my character, or would that be changing careers? Either you could do whichever you want. Yeah, you could yeah. go, you, for example, you could go into the drifter career as you're wandering the stars looking for your sister that you may or may want not, not want to kill. Or you could <laughs> stop right now and then like that's where we pick up as we start And that's what's driving you, looking. yeah. Yeah. We find so, or, okay, so or she could be like, like try to be a scout, like an explorer. And I mean, because she knows a lot about planets and stuff and how they work having, 
you know, yeah. been around and she knows like what's the topography of how different types of planets work because she's had to grow things and, you know, she's learned how to use butter knives on different planets. That makes no sense. <laughs> uh huh. Wait, <laughs> yep. Okay, my brain is heavy. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> it was a really good school. <laughs> they had, they, she they didn't had, graduate had, skin. You could, you could create your own major. That's, you could make your own major. <laughs> okay, so you're saying that she could change careers or we stop and move forward with another... Is that what you're saying, Matt? Yeah, and we could, you do your mustering out benefits and we'll find a way to connect you to these to these three and then we'll, we'll meet, them, meet you when we meet them next episode. Yeah, what I would, I would like to do is she decides to follow what's going on in her head to find her sister. And that that's going to drive her to drop and leave. And maybe that's how she's like somehow she when she's in her search, she bumps into these three. Somehow. Maybe she's for some reason decides to go visit the prisoners. No, that doesn't make any sense. Maybe <laughs> he's out on a day pass. <laughs> We can figure that, we can figure that out. Like yeah. it was, we'll this could it this out. could all like your meeting could take place after he is paroled or escapes or whatever. Yeah, because you're true. not. That's like we we'll figure it out. But it could be that Seth's okay. prison term is 20 years ago. You know, and right, and, right. And These aren't necessarily him. like all happening at the same time. Like, you know. Yeah. Oh, okay. So let's 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 do that. I want her to do that because I want to. I don't want to lose this character. I just want her to be like you know, life events happen. And she decides to, it, it changes the trajectory of her life. Okay. Awesome. So maybe she's, a, tries to be a scout now. Or maybe she is a drifter, but that would make her a wanderer. She could be a drifter. You also, and like, so, so if you want to go change careers, I like, that. that's great. And we can do that term. <laughs> or like I said, we can just say, you like go out into the world and we'll meet you. We'll find a way to meet, meet up with this, with this crew. And then that's where we'll meet you when we start the episode. You know what? Let's do that because I want to sort of focus on the, I do like the skills that I've chosen for her and I want to see what, what I can do with them. And if we end up doing other careers, we'll do that then. But that's, that's what happens. This is where, okay. where you see Georgina ending. She's sitting on her bed in her yurt and she's saying, <laughs> this is my calling. I'm going to find out what happened to Lucy. Time okay. to explore the galaxy. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Well, that's where we'll leave Georgina and uh, Seth. Where do we we do we? Is your character have a name yet? Um, I'm working it out because I've actually been kind of flipping through seafood of whatever stupid nickname people gave him because he came through a, from a water world. <laughs> uh, so I'm not sure if I want to be puffer like puffer fish. Uh -huh. um, Love it. Or or oyster. Um, <laughs> I, I don't want squid because I figured like Navy, they're all Navy called squids, squids yeah. but yeah. yeah. Uh, so a little I, too I, close I, to my name. Too. Yeah. And, and, and I, I <laughs> my <laughs> <cause of confusion. laughs> but so I'm trying to figure it out. It, it's, it's going to be a nickname he has adopted, but it's actually not as cool of a nickname as he thought it was. It's because he was a little hick when he went to the Naval Academy and they started calling him that. And then when he went to prison, it's like, that was his street name all of a sudden. Uh huh. Like, yeah, like, call me Crab Leg. You know, I don't know. So I'm, I'm gonna just... <laughs> call me Imitation Crab. <laughs> I mean, Tart maybe, I'll, maybe Tuna. I, I'm not sure. So I'm, All right. tuna. I'm working on it. We'll work Sushi. on that. Uh, All right. Wes was going to be his, his, his actual first name. Yeah, so don't know what the nickname is because that's the real name. Uh, but, okay. Well, so do you roll for your parole threshold again? Well, we do... Um, uh, no, the, the, the parole threshold is oh, nine. That stays at nine. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. So, uh, so I guess we just do the improvement, survival, see yep. if I move up in rank, see if I get paroled. All right. So, what skills you choose? What skill table are you going to choose? Okay. I am. This time I'm going to do personal development. I'm hoping maybe I can get that plus one strength because that'll get rid of my minus one on my dice modifier for it. So, Maybe lifting weights, they could do. So uh, let's see. Um, six? Nope. Gambler. I got plus one gambler. <laughs> okay. I was supposed to be lifting weights, but I ended up counting cards. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Um, okay, great. Um, so then, yeah, let's roll for survival. Oh, God, jeez. This is so, so hard. It's such a hard roll. That's such a hard, hard roll. roll. Intellect nine. I've got a plus <laughs> one. Let's see. Shit. Okay, so I rolled a 10, got an 11. Okay. Easy. Uh, let's, uh, let's see what happens. <laughs> what, what if the Naval get? Academy was this easy, I'd still be in the Naval Academy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting promoted way faster in prison. Okay, eight. Parole hearing. Reduce your parole threshold by minus one. Nice. Ooh, wow. Okay. That's great. Ooh, um, now an eight. So now we roll for advancement and then we do your parole. Okay, advancement, uh, endurance five. I get a plus one. Oh yeah, yeah, eight. So I'm now a, a, a second rank thug. So you get athletics Third. one. Awesome. Nice. Awesome. Um, and then you get your bonus skill, and then let's see what happens with your parole. Okay. Um, and, and since since lifting weights didn't work, it just got me gambling. Um, I'm gonna go back to the fixer one for my uh, uh, skill for this. Five stealth. If nothing else, we will be a sneaky bunch. Okay. <laughs> all right. Now the all important. Do you finally get out of prison? What is the parole roll for this? What do, what do you have to do? Two D. I have to get above an eight. Eight. Oh. Nine. Yes! Oh, he's out. Congratulations. He's out. Okay. Congratulations. You get to muster out. We'll do we'll do mustering out benefits off air. Um, mm-hmm. Are you thinking that you'll are you gonna what I mean I will spoiler alert, we're gonna not finish character creation on this episode and we'll do it also do it off air, but are you thinking you're you'll start the game here or are you gonna do more you're gonna do a little more career before you we meet you? Okay, so what I'm thinking I'm going to do is uh, I would like to do at least one term in, in the criminal uh, underworld. I, 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 I've spent half my life in prison at this point. I mean, the, <laughs> <laughs> so I, I would like to at least attempt one term after this okay, as cool. mm-hmm. as a criminal. And if it goes real good, I might I might be the sixty year old criminal. It's like yeah, back when I was in the Navy Academy. <laughs> but <laughs> technically, I'm still an ensign. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, amazing. All right, Skid. Let's uh, when we last met uh, Ensign Bridger, he was. He had been uh, blamed for an accident that got some people killed, <laughs> and he'd been drummed out of the Navy, the family business. <laughs> yep. I, this sucks. Uh, this is not what I wanted at all, but I think, and I'm not suited for this, but I think he, he was going to try to be a pirate. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> the, the criminal track, take the, uh, the pirate option. Yeah. Uh, okay. I think he's so, he's so pissed off. Like Don Carnage. Okay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> he's like, <laughs> you know, and this is all, you know, his all the pressure from his family, this, everything that he's dreamed of doing, it was all taken away from him by this commander, Commander Voorhees, that just Ooh. robbed him of what all of, of this career that he was supposed to have. So, out of like sheer rage, uh, he goes into the criminal track. Where is that? Uh, it's rogue. It's gonna rogue. be rogue. Rogue. Okay, so. So I'm not, again, not very well suited to this. I have to make a dex roll to survive. Uh, my well, you got to make a is... dex roll to get in. Oh, to get, yeah, to get in. Okay, so let's see if they accept me at the Pirate Academy. And you got to take a DM <laughs> minus one for having a previous career. So that's minus two total with my dex. Yep, couldn't get in. Oh, so. oh no. skid. So this. this game sucks. Oh, <laughs> I'm so mad right now. I'll get drafted into scouts. That'd be wonderful. So you, can, you can submit yourself to the draft or you can take the drifter career. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to go into the draft. I'm, I'm okay. like, uh, yeah. All right. So roll <laughs> one D six, one D six. Okay. Five. Scout service. You ah. drafted into the scout okay. service. Yay. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's okay. all right. That's fun. Okay. Uh, so now you're a scout. Uh, so you're gonna you can choose your skills and training table on which one which one you want to roll on. I'm going. Oh boy, I'm going to roll on the personal development again. 
Okay, great. Uh, five education plus one again. So smart. He's so he learns so much. So smart. My education is fourteen now. <laughs> oh my god! Wow! <laughs> wow! You were the uh, most hey. well-educated pilot <laughs> ever. Uh, okay. So right, let's do survivor. Survival. survival. Oh, are you. Okay. So are you going to do courier, surveyor, or explorer as your assignment? I am. Yeah, because they're all endurance, and my endurance is is not good. So I'm just going to go courier. Okay. Uh, just the lowest. It's and it this. actually, yeah, the best of chance for advancement. Uh, seven. Okay. So total of six. So okay. I survive. Uh, All right. Later. Let's see what happens. Your first term in the scouts. Give give me a two D for the for a career event. Okay, career event. Uh, eight. When dealing with an alien species, you have an opportunity to gather extra intelligence about them. Roll either Electronics A+, or Deception A+. If you succeed, gain an ally in the Imperium and DM plus two to your next advancement roll. If you fail, roll on the mishap table, but you are not ejected from this career. Oh boy, I don't have either of those. So, so that's a minus three if I try to make that roll, is yeah. that right? <laughs> Hard roll. Yeah, this is, uh, mm-hmm. wait, I, I, let me make sure. I yeah. I don't. believe in you, Skid. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that makes one of us. All right, let's see. Uh, yeah, nine, nine, nine total. So no. Oh wait, nine total? Oh. No, I mean oh, mi- nine on the nine dice. Minus three. <laughs> minus. Uh, oh, okay. 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 So now roll on the mishap table. One d six. But you're not ejected from the scout service. Uh, I have no idea what happened to me. They found my ship drifting on the fringes of friendly space. Oh, that's literally what it said. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's, that's really so you cool. had this contact with this with this alien race, and you tried to gain some extra intelligence, and all of a sudden you just disappeared. They pulled the uh, Dave Bowman. Yeah. <laughs> so my last <laughs> transmission was just my God, it's full of stars, and then they found me. <laughs> <laughs> the could it, could it just a dude, where's my ship? Dude, where's my ship? <laughs> <laughs> okay, roll. Let's do advancement. So uh, for you, this is gonna be education nine plus. I should totally get it up. Uh, promotion for that. <laughs> uh, yes. Okay. I got promoted. You get wow. promoted. You're, you now get the title of Scout. Scout. And you get Vax Suit 1. Ooh, which I already nice. had. That's great. All right. And then you get a bonus roll on the skills tables. Okay. I will roll on personal development again. Uh, two. A dex plus one. Nice. Well, that'll help you. Nice. Yeah, mm-hmm. okay. okay. So... We're gonna leave it there for tonight. But where we look, <laughs> and and everyone's gonna, you guys are gonna finish off character creation yeah. on your own, and we'll, oh. we'll offline, we'll we'll talk offline about this. Um, and I am so excited to see how you guys find your way toward each other to form a crew. <laughs> we'll do an email. We'll do an email chain. We'll do an email chain. To, like try to yeah. figure this out. And you guys will show off the your mustering out benefits, and then connections rule to get you guys some yeah, extra right. skills, okay. and then. But I, I will say, the way this is headed, I think this, you, I, I, Skid, you especially seem disappointed with how this turned out, but I think yeah. this might actually be perfect for what I have planned, so. <laughs> oh, okay. Ooh! Okay, great. I'm still I, very angry, but uh, I'm, I'm happy with this, please. All right. <laughs> He's like, I'm spitting well, bricks, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sydney, Alicia, Seth, Skid, thank you so much for this. Uh, I'm so excited to see what happens on this adventure next week. I am excited too. I really can't wait. This yeah. is going to be great. I'm very excited. Thanks, guys. Have a good night, everybody. <laughs> good night. <laughs>